Alrighty. It is time for more roguelike roulette. If you missed it on the previous days, behold this enormous wheel. <laughs> behold the wheel of, of roguelike games. Now, I realize I haven't been doing a great job. We've been getting subs all day. And we haven't... Oh my goodness, Jesse improved the five bomb. And we haven't really been updating the rule. So, the, the wheel. So, some other things to keep in mind. Oh my goodness. Um, if you would like to, you can resurrect a game that was played and removed. Just because they're gone, they're not gone. If that makes sense. Just because they're gone, they're not permanently gone is maybe a better way of saying it. Oh no. Dang it. I did that thing where I like jiggled my mouse ever so slightly and now all of my windows have closed. Well, that sucks. Uh, please hold as I reopen everything. Can somebody tell me how to disable that feature? There's a feature where if you are holding something and you jiggle the mouse just a little bit, Windows is like, you want to minimize everything, don't you? And you're like, no, I, I sure don't. Please. Why are you like that? Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, if I may be so cheeky, uh, I would love to put up a stretch goal. So at a thousand sub points, we were going to take uh, the wonderful Ben Ben for a coffee ice cream adventure. At 1500, I promise, I vow to take James Turner for poutini. Start new goal. So I really appreciate everybody got us there. I want to say that that was amazing. And I don't want to move the goalposts. I want to say I will deliver on the goal and I will introduce a stretch goal. Wait, if I jiggle it again, it comes back. All right, I tell you what, I'm going to test. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. <gasps> it came back. Uh, settings app, go to system multitask. There's a setting there named title bar window shake. Settings. System. I go here just in case. I don't want to show you anything. System. Setting there named title bar window shake. No results for shake. Multitasking. Hold on. Multitasking. When I snap a window, automatically sees. When I snap a thingy, I think I can show these, sweetie. Windows 11 calls it snap windows. But when I snap a window, automatically size to fill. No, this is all good. Like, I want this. I love snap. When I snap a window, show where I can snap it. When I resize a window, Simon says resize, sure. I want specifically the shake to go away. And if I search shake, no result for shake. I don't know why. It's a mystery. Will it be good poutine or some random restaurant? A brand new restaurant just opened in downtown Victoria that has really bougie breakfast poutine. If we get to 1500 subs, I'll buy James the bougie poutine. The bougiest poutine. Bouge teen. Is there a, cert a setting for gesture? No setting for gesture. Wait, there it is. Says C. Dudson. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Happy birthday. Thank you, Jordy. 
Oh, you bouge teen. <laughs> yes. All right. Anyways, let's ignore all of that. Uh, we made it work. I can unshake it to make it work. Am I on 7, 10, or 11? I don't know. We're not going to worry about that. We're instead going to talk about the joys of roguelike roulette. So here's how this works. If I die or we win, the game dies and we get rid of it. If you'd like to resurrect a game that has been played previously, let's let's put it back on the list. For the low, low price of five subs, you can work together. If a bunch of you want to work together, uh, resubs, whatever it works. If you have subbed, if you have gifted sub, every sub is going to get you another point towards a game and all that stuff as well. Love to see it. I owe, we are like 200 subs. <laughs> I could I could throw people here too. So Fall Pierce says five for God of Weapons. Uh, God of Weapons died. You know what? We'll bring it back. We're resurrecting the God of Weapons. Please hold. God of Weapons. Now somebody said that I can click to organize. Sort. <gasps> oh my God. I love it. All right. God of Weapons is resurrected. My five for Peglin. Yes. Uh, Joe has been trying to say that before Mr. Gibberish left, they gifted 50, they gifted 60, even split between Death Must Die and Gunfire Reborn. Wow. All right. So, or if at all possible, suggesting RoboQuest and put it all into RoboQuest. I think I own RoboQuest. I do. Time to unhide. <laughs> Time to add another game. All right, we're adding RoboQuest to the list, apparently. I already own it. Uh, and I have to add 60 points to RoboQuest? Oh, my God. All right. RoboQuest. Add. Can I just type 60? I sure can't. Okay. Wait, can I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, did I get five for Penguin? For hold on, uh, Jesse improved. Did I get you? Exos, I definitely didn't. So one for Peglin there. Do our subs from earlier count? Absolutely. I want to honor as much as I can. What's RoboQuest? It's a first-person shooter roguelike. Uh, Blotcher we played yesterday. If you want to resurrect it, let's do it. Yes, I got you. Amazing. Okay. Uh, holy moly. Oh, uh, I need to get this up. Hey, uh, Kel Taclo, thank you so much for the three gift subs, friend. I really appreciate you. Diabeto, Diabeto with a five bomb. Time to figure out if it's worth torturing Surge to bring back across the obelisk. You absolutely can. Five to Peglin for Lirazel? Sure. One, two, three, four, five. All right, everybody. One at a time, line up. Let's make sure nobody gets missed. <laughs> Uh, plus three of the Robo Quest from Scuba. Yes. Oh my God. It's getting so thick. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, Lumi? Great to see you, friend. Uh, Jesse wants one for Peglin. You joined us just in time, friends. We're switching over to Roguelike, Roguelike. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. This is part of my birthday week extravaganza. We're playing games. We're chilling like ro uh, rock stars and partying like rock stars. All right. Wooga Chaka says throw eight that way. What way, Wooga Chaka? Uh, one to against the storm. Love it heading to fall. Boop. Let's go. Penguin. Clap, 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 clap. My prime sub doesn't come up for renewal just yet. No worries. Hey, kids. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Lumi. What's up, Milk? Good to see you, friends. A serious moose with a five bomb. Thank you so much. Where would you like to put some points in? A Diabeto as well. Let me know. All right. To clarify, please resurrect again across the obelisk and throw whatever is appropriate left over from eight into it. Love it. Thank you for being explicit. Across obelisk, the obelisk. And I'll give you I'll give you another three. We'll say five to resurrect it, three to the game. So that should be four in total. Uh, 
Do you want to see an option with one point get hit just for chaos? Can we appreciate for a second? A, the absolute generosity in this community right now. And B, how small one votes are right now. All right, hold on. Serious Moose says no preference. I'll use that for myself then. A little bit of vanity, if we will. Brotato's back on the menu, chat. <laughs> All right, so seven, five to resurrect it, two into the game. Brotato's back on the menu. <laughs> I forgot when you asked me earlier, did my resub when we were playing Lesar count towards us? Absolutely. I'm going to say yes to basically everything. Doodly do. Thank you so much for the 10 bomb. All right, Diabato says, God of weapons, re up it. All right, hold on. God of weapons. Plus five. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you so much. Whatever Surge wants, Brotato. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I, sp I spun the wheel. All right, we have to honor this. Oh, it almost hit a small one. What is that even? I can't even read it. Inkbound. Uh, Ink bound. All right. Wow. Okay, we're going to remove ink bound. We're going to honor it, but I do miss some votes here. All right, we got a point for Risk of Rain 2 for the next one. Gifted one earlier, put it in Brotato. Love it. Yes. Plus one to God of Weapons from Diabeto. Thank you. I was looking for Diabeto. <laughs> Point into Peglin. Love it. Thank you, Juliamon. You did five earlier. Hit me, Dalrent. I re up my sub. Plus one to Grifflands. Yeah. Five points to one way heroics. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God. Everybody. Thank you so much, by the way. This, it, my heart, my heart. My heart, my heart, my heart. I'm so glad you're having fun. I'm so glad. I'm, I love everything about this. I love the energy. I love the support. I love each and every one of you. Mr. Sarkan, what you looking for there, friend? God, I've, I've signed myself up for a lot of work. <laughs> Five to Cobalt Core. Absolutely. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think you missed it. I put a thousand subs in earlier, all for Star Control 2. Interesting, Hosk. All right. Uh... <laughs> you want to put three in Noida? I think Noida is dead. But you know what? You know what? I'll be, I don't want to say no to anything. Ah. Anybody else want to throw a couple points into Noida? Five to bring it back from the dead. Maybe we could chip away at a couple of thousand from Hosk there. Uh, Kit says, I'll pay all of my subs in the future and now for Noida. Noida's back on the menu, chat. Noida's back. And uh, let's, give it, let's give it a two there. Oh my god, Yojiho with a five bomb as well. All right, uh, a couple of things we need to do. I need to get some different colors side by side here. So Brotato and Cobalt Core. Brotato shall become pink. Get some contrast in there. One of these reds needs to become a purple. There we go. Yoji Ho, Brotato in all caps. Love the way you think. Auntie Muffin, how you doing? Thank you for the birthday wish. Thank you for the 40 months. How's the time looking? Uh, I started at five and a half hours. I've been live six hours. It's gone up too. Uh, Raiden Firewing. Subscribe for the six months. Enjoy the new bean. And they said, I heard something about Noida. Yes, you did. There you go. <laughs> did I get five for Cobalt Core and one for Botato? I believe I did. All right, friends. Let's... Let's get into a game of Inkbound. It's been a long time. So first of all, let's update the stream title.
And uh, let's jump on into it, shall we? Major update 1.0 with rise of the unbound content. So inkbound, it's been a while. I was going to say when you're ending late, sorry, you had a very streams ending vibe, but nope, you still had half a stream to go. So what I tried to do there, a little bit of peek behind the curtains, is I'm trying to make things easy for Joe when it comes to uploading things onto the, the YouTube VODs. And similarly, um, I know people are going to be really interested in Laysara and might not want to go through a 12-hour VOD to figure the whole thing out. So I had a plan with her that I was going to try and elegantly end the Laysara portion of the VOD and then start up the other thing going on. And yeah, you know, just try and put a, a beginning and end to it elegantly while keeping the flow of the stream going. How'd I do? All right, let's talk about Inkbound. Inkbound is going to be a little bit different from any of the other games that we've played so far on this. This is a... Uh, this is... I, I want all this stuff. I do not want a party. No. Can I... Can I make this go away? There we go. So this is a turn-based game. Where you have a certain amount of action, but you exist in sort of a circle. And... It's all mechanics that you're used to from like Slay the Spire and the other turn-based games. Enemies have an intent, you have an intent, you have a certain amount of action points, you have a certain amount of movement, um, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of storyline stuff going on. I'm not going to worry about quests. I'm just going to try and get into a run. Um, and we're going to use the old smashy hammer. All right, game's actually lagging a little. Let's just try and get into a, uh, a game here real quick. Uh, you saw on Steam Slay the Spires getting a sequel? It sure is. Welcome to the Sea of Ink. God, they added a lot to this game. I don't know what's happening. Alright. Chain Breaker. What does this mean? I have no idea. Alright, I got Venomous. All right, Chainbreaker Venomous. Plus two to poison damage. What? This is a new mechanic. Just you need this. Well, you're looking a bit crispier than last time. A trip to the Runestone will do that to you. Oh, everyone calls it the Silent Promenade now, but that doesn't change what it is. The Silent City itself? Well, you... Uh... They added too much lore to this game. Remember to change the stream title on Twitch? I thought I did. Oh, no, I did. I got there. All right. Oh, interesting. Do I have to go through the tutorial now? It looks like I have to here. You picked up the... Wait, I picked the daily challenge? Okay, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's get out of the daily challenge. How do I... How do I just play a run? I just want to play a regular run. No, you're fine, Bjork. I want to go here. A standard run. There we go. Oh, I didn't change the stream title. I just changed the game. All right. Rank one. Start each dive with minus glyph. Sure. Yeah, there we go. This is familiar. Aspect Apparatus. Wow. They've added a lot. Last time we played, there was only three classes. We're going to be old hammer time over here. Villains and Guardians deal 35% damage when brought below 50% HP. On the start of turn, gain Pacifism. Lowering Omni damage? No. On your turn, loot stuff. All right. Enemies will be tougher. Hey, Beverin. Thank you so much for the gift sub, friend. New inventory. Catches your attention. The words scrawled in a quick, claustrophobic script. New wares for you, needless. Drop by and consider investing in our marvelous new inventory. Carver. All right, potion supply. I will grab this potion of 
Mercurial Elixir. Reduces the cooldown of random binding to zero. Okay. Tarnished Vault. Uh, these are relics. 35% chance to get an extra energy. Gain more money. Uh, let's get more money. Seems pretty good to get early. Vestiges and set. Vestiges are items earned throughout the run. So you can only have so many relics. Uh, and then we also get a set bonus now, which is kind of cool. So one of these. Oh, cool. Uh, that's new since the last time I played it. Amazon currently one up on the ad block in the back and forth. I love you, Surge, but I'm not earning money. Huh? In common augment. Ooh, this lets me upgrade one of my cards. Uh, make bonk bigger. On defeating an enemy, gain three shield for smash. That's kind of cool. Oh, you keep getting hit by ads. I haven't run any ads. You shouldn't be getting ads. The only ads anybody should be getting on my channel ever is um, is um, pre ones, whatever those are called. Oh, you refreshed to see something and you got hit by an ad. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Hey, Scuba. Thank you very much for gifting Max a sub. Appreciate that, friend. All right. So we went through everything. Here's the actual game. And I kind of wish there was a faster way to get here. So. Wait, you've been lurking for a few hours. And you got hit by two mid-rolls. Those shouldn't be happening. There should be no mid-rolls on my content. That's so bizarre. So the way this game works. Uh, the blue area here is the combat arena that we have to fight in. I'm fighting four enemies currently. You can see they have 100 health, 100 health, 450 health, 450 health. If I'm inside of a circle, this is where their, their attacks go. Or you could see you can move around. These enemies are going to hit me basically wherever I go, right? And then you can see when we're moving if it's going to cost us energy or not. So yeah, I have four energy on my turn. My attacks cost one, one, and two energy respectively. All right. Uh, after this game is done, remind me about the pre-roll thing, and I'll see if I can't um, fix that. Looks like my movement got a lot bigger here. Hmm. You know what I think about ads? Oh my god, the fact that you can't minimize ads these days? Yeah wild to me as well but we'll see all right most important thing we want to do is we want to get out of the circle and we want to kill these two. Oh, this blue thing by the way refunds an energy so my smash if i kill an enemy it um it refills so if i, I could do this i could bonk Maybe it wasn't great. I take zero now. Maybe that's fine. There you go. So now the turn is done. We're out of energy. Uh, those ones are dead. These two are going to smash in their area. There you go. You're now an expert at the game. So I want to go here. And I want to hit them both. Some attacks are single target. Some attacks are AOE. There you have it. Money, 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 money. Your first turn gain 50 movement. Okay. Bramble Dolos. On your first turn, inflict five stacks of bleed to the nearest enemy. On your first turn, gain one will and 50 magic damage until end of turn. That's very strong. So all my stuff is physical. It doesn't do anything for us. I will take the free move. Oh, I can reroll for $40 dues. I have 150 of them. Sure. On collecting an orb, gain a shield. That seems great. Or block. And if we want to, we can get a new skill here. How many of the little triangles I have? Two rerolls. Uh, these don't seem to look great with what I'm trying to do. 
Yojio, thank you for another gift sub. Gifting a sub over to Earth and One. This is a heal lightning bolt. Sure, let's take heal for now. I don't plan on ever getting hit, but you know. Destroy a vestige to permanently gain double its set. Oh. Destroy a vestige to get double its set. Interesting. Or gain a free binding augment and then an option to purchase another. Sure. Let's go to the shop. All right. I need to remember to use potions. Consume your attack bindings. Do triple damage and you take double damage until your next turn. Sick. Three stacks of heat. Gain one stack of heat whenever you hit an enemy. At 10 stacks, gain 25 movement. Reduce all attack binding cooldowns by two and deal double damage for your next attack. Wow. Uh, quick and restoration. So what we this is, this is an upgrade. Smash deals another 40 damage. Uh, that seems great. And now I can buy one of these for two. Now I can't afford it because I did a reroll, which is kind of unfortunate. Hard combat... This is another relic. Take this one. The fact that we were working on an ad-supported internet in an age when the companies that run the ads don't actually track where or how the ads are being run boggles my mind. That Google claimed it wasn't aware that 70% of its video ad traffic was being run in minimized sidebar pop-ups on websites. Farming bots to click is incomprehensible. Do you know I worked in ad tech for a while? <laughs> it may or may not have been one of the major reasons <laughs> I got out of tech. Uh. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, buckets. Um. Worked in a short ad tech for a short stint only job i've ever outright quit yeah i worked with some good people but it was just not just not for surge you know 280 280 265 so if i hit you once and then i bonk you big and i move here i still take four damage what if i go here Eight damage. Four damage. Okay. Ow. Well, luckily, I heal four damage, so it doesn't really matter. That is so many attacks. All right, let's 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 do some big damage here, shall we? Can I hit two? Seemed like a good turn. Bit out of loop to see whether it's changed, but add middleware was a huge part of it. Yeah, it sure was. All right, so you won't let me escape. So let's just hit you a bunch. One, can't help but notice that the circle is getting increasingly small here. So I should probably um, start trying to deep this boss down a little. Wait, am I fighting two of the same boss? How is that fair? Oh no. Three, six, three damage it is. Can I hit all three of you? No, just two. Bonk. Max heat. Oh, I can go that way, huh? You fool. Oh, wait. Every time I hit you, you turn. I'm the fool. <laughs> 
Oops. Five hundred and thirty. Yeah. Hey, not bad. Uncommon augment. Uh, quickened leap gets cooldown faster. Undefeated an enemy gaining an additional plus three. That seems kind of cool. That mean I get six shield anytime I kill an enemy with it. Love it. Fifteen to physical damage. Huge, actually. Create a plant that grants one will for each turn it's on the ground. Uh, that never existed before, but that seems kind of cool. Let's give it a try. All right, we can do money, double a vestige, or a story opportunity. Let's just go for money. So yeah, this is Inkbound if you've never seen it before. It's a pretty neat game, huh? The store of value. Uh, none of these are good with what I'm doing. What I'm doing right now, Carver. Pretty nifty, if I do say so. Can augment for one if I want. Inflict shatter. It's kind of cool. Critical cultivation on pickup. Gain critical charge on a random binding. Mm hmm. So these set tags, if I recall correctly, end up being the most important part of our rarity items. You can often shed them to keep multiply tags to free up inventory space. Yeah, I saw a couple of offers for it. Yeah, I'm going to worry about that when I get full. But adding a system like that does seem like the sort of thing I'd want to pay attention to. So I don't really want to use any of that. Uh, the Cabinet of Trinkets. Well, much appreciated. Pleasure doing business. Wait, why did I just give you $99? What did you just give me? Nothing? I feel ripped off. All right, I got some money here. Let's try rerolling. On defeating an enemy, smite the nearest other enemy. And that also gives me another point to nothing. Okay, good talk. Bonus will reserve. It's kind of cool. Token of regretty. Ooh, on your turn, heal. Love that. Love a sustain relic. On defeating an enemy, smite your nearest enemy. Sure. Let's give him a try. So. If I met a planet crafter, all of the very common ice I was relying on for water has disappeared because I've increased the temperature of the planet too much. A fun bit of progression without having to progress to a new area. That is neat. All right. Hard combat. Uncommon augment. Superior vault. Superior vault, I think, gives me more money. Let's go this way. Seen Sara as the game title. Uh, the game should have changed. The title is independent of that. I need to kill you, huh? I'm being hit, turn to face the attacker. So what if I do this? What does this actually do? Let's put it over there, huh? Now I bop you. <laughs> I head all the way over here. Grant two will. I have six will.
Apparently, doing anything while standing in the goo is bad. Good to know. Um, what if I just stand over here and hit you in the butt? Wow, that's a lot of enemies. <laughs> Stop spewing stuff everywhere. It's kind of gross. Oops. Stop it. You disgust me. What she hit for? 305. Oh, another one of these, huh? Sure. I feel like my damage hasn't really gone up that much. This way. We're only getting hit for two. I want to hit you for 305. How doable is that? Seems like not very. What are you got? You have 400 HP. Deal damage. Okay, I accept. Go this way. Let's heal ourselves. I guess we'll hold one energy. Maybe we'll go over this way. Alright, can I finish any of you off? Maybe if I hit this one a couple times. Nailed it. Good stuff. Um, I just want to walk over here. Save that orb for next turn. All right, little buddy, how you doing over there? You know, we all chilling. Let's go. You know what? We're getting places. What is this? Deal bleed, gain vigor. On your turn, if your Omni damage is zero, gain one will, okay? On restoring your HP in combat, this vestige gains two poison, up to 20 poison. Sure. So, there's something I don't understand here. It, it doesn't feel like a lot of these are stacking now, right? It feels like I only have one of each. I'm clearly misunderstanding something important about what this system is supposed to do. Never played Transistor? Yes, I did. Wait, maybe I did? Pretty sure I did. All right, so this is be my second Tiny Heart, right? So if I click Tiny Heart again... Presumably these go up. Ooh, wait. Star Blossom. So hold on. If I click on this. Equip enough vestiges to fill your inventory. Okay. So I should have multiple points in some of these now, right? Like this should be. Yeah, I got two points in that. Ah, there it is. I see. The numbers are going up. And then what I do is I eat them and I keep these regardless. I get it now. Hey, C. Dudson, thank you so much, friend. What's this? Respite. This past, this patch of peace is home to the gardener. Or, story. I'm just going to go this way because I don't want to do any lore stuff right now. <gasps> Fishing. Ooh. 
Consumed getting crit? Sure. Oh, cool. Uh, heal you on pickup. Now, healing is good because whenever I heal, I gain poison damage. So, that seems good. Target gains resistance. Sure. I've only got $16? That's so few dollars. <laughs> Happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. All right. We are fighting Nim the Lost. Did you take damage? It looks like you lost 100 damage when I hit you there. Every two turns, spawn two Stompies. Bonk. Now, did I poison you? So I just gained health. So now I do poison damage. But you don't seem to be poisoned there. I think I don't know how poison works in this game. Everyone's going to hit me regardless. Which I think is just extremely rude, if I'm honest. I think the other thing it stacks with glows on the right. So yeah, like we do this extra poison damage, but you know, what does that even mean? All right, so 11 damage, nine. Okay, so if I want to run outside of that, This should give me 25% resistance. Yes, good. One damage. I'll take uh, one damage, Bob. <laughs> so, on being hit, gain one max HP. Love it. So, I would like to do this. Uh, let me eat this down over there. As far as a target. Take some damage here. Or am I? Zero damage. Love zero damage. Huge fan. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Painter. So I can't help but notice I'm putting uh, not a lot of damage on this boss. Should probably try hitting the boss more. What do you think? Oh, I leveled up. That's a some kind of quest. So I've done no damage to the boss, which is good. 
There we go. I don't notice that more enemies are showing up. It's extremely rude. Oops, that was not lethal. Oops, that was a bad turn. Well, whatever. get hit a whole bunch here, aren't I? What if I just go back this way? What if I hit you instead? Wait, you're not dead? Oh, terrible news. Yeah. Probably can't ignore the boss for as many turns as I ignored the boss, eh? What, what do you think? Thoughts? Quest complete. Bold strategy. Think we're gonna get a new game pretty quick? I think you're probably correct. I'm sure this giant ever approaching circle of doom doesn't mean anything. fine. The boss has only got 4,000 HP. <laughs> I think even if I attacked it with everything that I got, every turn that I got, I still don't think I can beat this fast enough. No, no, no. Don't stand outside of the poison. That's cheating. me. It's good. Phase two? No, oh, not even. <laughs> I mean, we're not dying, which is really quite something. And I mean, I think we all agree that's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. Phase two. We did it. Am I hitting you? Am I hitting anybody? Oh, you're, you're in some type of weird boss phase mode where you don't take damage. Maybe the circle won't keep shrinking. Maybe I can live here forever. Nope. <laughs> Supposed to hit that one. 
Phase two, now we die. The cultivated plant has arrived. I'm just gonna keep hitting the boss and see what happens here. All right, GG. What's up, Lawless? Thank you so much. Well, you know, considering we had to play the game in a while, uh, that was okay. <laughs> GG, everybody. Man, I kind of want to play more Inkbound. That game was fun. So, we had a couple of subs, a couple of gift subs while we were... Uh, in the middle of Inkbound there. If you feel like you subbed while we were in there, uh, I think we got uh, Beverin and Yojiho. Because I, I know uh, Scuba took off. So Beverin and Yojiho, you got some votes you want to put some places? Anybody who gifted subs earlier that I may have missed, let me know. Let's get to the, na the next game here, shall we? Now, chances are it's going to be one of these two. <laughs> two more to Brotato. I like the way you think. What is the big orange one? The large orange one is Slay the Spire. And then we've got 63 points into RoboQuest. Plus one to Peglin. Love it. All right, friends. And with that, let's spin that... Wait, hold on a second. I just arrived. What's that wheel? Is it the game picker? Yes, it is. So here's what we're doing. Every time we die or win a game, the game dies. And we spin a wheel to pick the next one. As part of the subathon, subs and bits and donos give you more points on the wheel. James the Dabbler, for example, just gifted a sub to the community. Where would you like to put a point, friend? Excellent example. Excellent timing. <laughs> Oh my god, Bissaflow, thank you for the five bomb. One point into Undermine. Did you see they announced Undermine 2? Oh my god. The indie showcase yesterday was so good. Five to Peglin. Let's go. All right, everybody. It's time to spin that wheel. <laughs> Robo Quest. It was the largest wedge, which should not surprise anybody. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a very short pee break. And when we come back, we're going to check this out. For those of you who are curious... RoboQuest is one of the games that I played on uh, one more, and I believe it was the one where I had special guest Adam. So if you're curious, I mean, that was what all my subs are for. Hey, I'm glad you're here for this, Mr. Gibberish. I know you said you had to step away. All right, stick around. I'll be right back.
Hi. Oh! Hey, what's up, Greya? I asked if this is on the wheel when I went to bed last night. I was planning to donate some subs for it. Well, 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 Greya! Isn't it lucky to be you today, then, you know? Robo Quest. Did I pick the right Robo Quest? I probably did. Greya, thank you so much for the five bomb, friend. Five points to Risk of Rain's returns. Heck yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Look at poor Soulstone survivors. The only game with no votes. I hope it wins. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've updated the Twitch game. Now, this is one I believe I have to screen capture. Oh my God, look at my look at my poor Steam library right now. I'm the type of person, by the way, that has like four games installed normally. This is abnormal for me. None of these games are bad. Some are just more beloved than others. Oh, absolutely. Continue. What does continue mean? <clears throat> uh, please hold for a second. So this is a game capture game. 100%. Wait, Soulstone survivors just had to roll back a major issue? What happened there? All right. So sprint, dodge, pew pew, pew 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 pew. There's no ADS with this. Man, it's been a long time since I played this game. Uh, how do I start? <laughs> this is the workshop. I've got 10 points. Sure. Hey Max, look, you're recycling. Way to go, friend. Wait, Smithy Joe provides plus one weapon or adds one power cell. Now let's add Bonus weapon. All right. Soulstone survivors made a bunch of changes the community really didn't like to the point that they had to roll it back. That's wild. I'm going to hit the giant thing that says start and assume this is where we start. All right. So give me a second. How is this looking? How's this feeling? How's it look? How's it sound, friend? Good? All right, buddy. This is the first time exploring there and with those now oh, it's gone. Looking good. Open starter pack. The junk beam, the elephant gun, the shoddy. Let's take the shoddy. So remember, enter the gungeon, uh, picture that, but this. He's gaming out of his mind. Oh, I have an air jump too. Uh, purple means bonus. More tower of guns than enter the gungeon. Well, more in the in the sense that you run around and you've got this is a game with a bunch of silly guns. What does this do? You played this with Adam. Yes, I did. This was a game that we had on Oh my god. The Shredder. Uh, this doesn't look like a gun so much. It just looks like a chainsaw. <laughs> 
sure. Oh, I got perks, eh? <gasps> Bow and arrow. Ooh. All right. What if we did the extreme long range and the extreme short range? All right. Uh, on first, 33% of ammo increases weapon damage by 30% or increases elemental damage by 5%. Let's go with this. And you know what? Uh, I'm not much of a melee kind of guy. Let's go shoddy and bow and arrow. Open Max's secret chest. What's this? Scout Sniper. Uh, increases energy damage weapon. Ooh. Bow and arrow or sniper? It's tough. What are you? Hello, old man. I unlocked roller skates. Okay. Well, riding for six seconds increases movement speed. I've analyzed these locked doors, and we need some kind of key. Nope. You have 35 data logs? I sure don't. Well, I unlocked that door. I don't know what that means. All right. All right. Sniper or bow and arrow? Uh, it says the damage is better for the bow. Let's stick with the bow then, you know? What are you cooking? Upgrade the bow? No. What does Q do? Oh, I get a shield? I should use that. So if you fight too far back, you don't take damage, but you also never heal. Imagine if I shoot the red points, they take massive damage. You like the arrow twirl? Oop, we're in, up close and personal now. Mods? <laughs> Thank you, mods. Arm the block cannons. Y'all are amazing. Black, black. Oh, I leveled up. Sick. And how we do here. Uh, while top quality is active, increase weapon damage. Uh, just increase fire rate by 15%. That seems good. Travel to the ruins. I probably could have gone back a step. Oh, uh. Hey, I got a record of an A. Let's go. Press the any key. All right, what do we got? Carnival mask or a rake? Carnival mask seems like, oh, increases armor by 4%, increases all damage against turrets by 10%. I'll buy both of these. Seems good. Hello. I don't have any. Oops. What do we got here? Rhino igniter. Deals burn damage. I'll take the rhino. Oh, yeah. Banger alert. Oh, my God, the soundtrack, y'all.
All right, what are you? You are some kind of mine launcher. Oops. Please? <laughs> the soundtrack's really good, yeah. All right, there's gotta be a secret up here. Yeah, what are you? Uh, a data log. I love games that reward you for like running around and exploring like this, you know? Wait. The party was amazing. I went crazy with the sound system just to impress my homies. Okay. All right, let's, oh geez. What is, what is happening here? A little chaotic here. There are so many enemies right now, and I don't much appreciate that. Oh Lord, Amy! Hi, friend. <laughs> Give me a second, please. Look, you caught me at a bit of a bit of an awkward moment right now. Hi, Raiders. Hi, Amy. Boop. Hi. Hi! Okay. Welcome, everybody. My name is Serge. It was my birthday yesterday. We are doing something I like to call the birthday week extravaganza. It is a subathon, and we're also doing something I like to call roguelike roguelike, where we play a roguelike, and if we die, the game dies. And we got a great big old wheel that lets us select the next game. No, not again. So... Welcome. If you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you want to have some good vibes, get cozy. It has been just an amazing couple of days. Uh, the plan is to go about 12 hours a day until the timer is gone. This is day two. Ow. So yeah, you should have all of the info now. Basically experts on the entire subject matter. Oh, also, we just got hit by like a, like a weird ad bot sort of thing. So apologies if you're trying to like say things and you can't. Stupid, stupid Twitch bots, you know? You know how it be sometimes. So we had to put the shield mode up and all that, all that nonsense. Appear to be dying, which is extremely rude. Ow! Never mind. I appear to be dead. <laughs> well. Total runtime was only like eight minutes. I didn't expect to die that quickly. Maybe the bow was greedy. Ever played Crab Champions? I did not. I actually suggested Crab Champions to Loader Randy Run when they did that stream. And I was not available for it for reasons. Well, well played, RoboQuest. Gonna be honest, sometimes switching game genres means I don't perform as well on a game as I normally would. <laughs> All right. Subs well spent. Appreciate it, friend. Behold, this is the wheel of games that we can play on. If you'd like to contribute to the subathon, every sub gives you one point in a vote. Let me know if you want to do anything. If not, we're going to spin that wheel any second now. Hey, also, uh, go follow Amy. I like Amy a lot. Twitch.tv slash Amazonian. Plays a lot of Magic the Gathering. Uh, is an absolute delightful little chaos gremlin. And a coffee friend. Plus one to Brotato. Plus one to Brotato. All right. I'm going to spin that Wheel ring ging 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 ging
Oh, it's another. Oh, <laughs> man. Everybody who's been voting for Peglin recently. Congratulations. It has paid off. Yeah, it's hard to go from like a shooter game to a non-shooter game for sure. Because your brain, it just is just not there. It's a little bit easier to go from a turn-based game to another turn-based game, but uh, that one's tricksy. Peglin. Welcome to what if Slay the Spire and Peggle combined. Oh, right. What are your feelings on Orb? Any Orb enjoyers in the chat? All right. I'm going to go back to an easier Crucible. Let's go to Crucible 1 because it's been a while. Let's go for the basic Peggle. All right. What are my starting ones here? Every reload gives you more muscle. Oh, activate nearby pegs when bomb goes off? Yes, please. Okay. We're just going to do bomb. You do occasionally like to ponder? Delightful. All right. What are we looking at here? Uh, right side is looking stronger. Armor build from an X unlock? I'm not going to worry about meta progress when I haven't played a game in a while. <laughs> Look, on a day like today, all I want to do is not embarrass myself. And even that, I mean, after following the... Uh, the robo quest there, you know. You down to ponder, go to orb every now and then. Hey, you off? Thanks for hanging out, Mr. Jibberish. Once again, as always, thank you for the generosity. Oh, all right. There's a hundo. Try and get these bombs going. Yeah, there we go. There's another fitty. Got a little bit of time. Oh, wait. Actually, right. Stupid bomb. Uh, Let's go over this way. Oh. Okay, never mind. I just need to hit that bomb, and then we are cooking. Uh, hit the bomb? Yes. I don't know if I want any of these, if I'm honest. When drawn, convert one orb into a refresh. I mean, that seems okay. Refresh the board every six times things are hit. You know what? Nah, I just skip it. I just skip it. Now, give me a second here. Which way do I want to go? I want to go right. We're going to take the chest, and then we're going to take the elite, and then we're going to take the chest, and then we're going to take the elite. So let's stick to the right. You love that refresh orb? Maybe I could have taken it. I don't know. When was the last time I played? Uh, we were playing this like weeks ago. Like how long ago was that update? What's your timeline here, C-Tab? Like a week or two ago. Oh, it was when we were playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's give this a second to cook. Let's wait for this last ooze to get in. We'll go for the bomb after. There we go. Get that maximum bomb value. Nice. And then what we're going to do is just try and make some space on the side here. Didn't even realize that that was the, uh, the crit orb. Whatever. Doesn't matter. All right, yo, moderators, do you want to see if maybe we're safe to drop the shield? The bots are quick to give up. They come in like a wrecking ball. Happy birthday. Am I enjoying being back at the moon base? I mean, I'm more excited about being in Victoria. The moon base is just an, an added bonus. Uh, I don't want any of these either. I'm just going to keep skipping stuff, apparently. Let's keep going right here. Nope. Yes. Yes. Nice. Ah, 
I don't want to say like, I'm not excited to be back in the moon base, but like, I don't know. That'd be like, hey, are you excited that you're not working remote anymore and that you'd like to work at the office? You're like, that's, I'm happy I'm hanging out with my friends. Oh, I didn't grab any orbs. I mean, I can upgrade, I guess I can upgrade one of my pebbles. I haven't grabbed anything yet. That feels bad. I'm trying not to throw shade at my coworkers. What do we got? Heal and reloading. Hey, Toad. Love me some max HP. So I'm going to try and make this work because... Good. Never mind. Because I get a free chest if I do. I return to town just you stop going to the moon base for kill team streams. Mm. As I like to call them kill streams. I mean, I got to see Funko for like a second before he left, so... No, big, big, big mood there, bud. Oh, I missed the, uh, oh, geez, please hit that one. I'm in a world of trouble if I don't. Okay, thank goodness. That was pretty good. I want to do at least 100 per throw here. Is Funko headed back to Australia? Funko is, I believe, already back in Australia. Oh, I missed the reload. My... Please. Right there. Right there. Right, right there. Right there. Right. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Yeah, as an Australian, Funko can only hang out in Canada for uh, six months without, you know, people getting mad at him. So he had to dippity. Ow. Please stop hitting Surge so aggressively. This should kill before the next fight. Nice. There we go. GG. We only got one big boppity. Two big boppities? Double boppitied. I need an orb, please. Are you... What are these? Deal an additional... I'm going to try... I'm going to grab this because I need something. Um, are there any shops on the way out? I'm about to go literally to a shop. Okay. So let's just leave it then. Prevent the first time you lose health each battle. Orbs receive plus one plus two for every following connected orb of the same type. Uh, let's grab this one. I have a, I have a, um, what's it called? A buffer charge. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Andre? Thank you so much for the 24 months. Congratulations for unlocking your butter bean. Really appreciate you. All right, we're at the shop. I might have to grab a ball lightning here. Um, I have 119, which means I can get one, remove one, and buy one. Whenever a uh, peg is refreshed, they upgrade by one. That's huge. Whenever slime is applied, it gets plus five. All attacks get plus one, plus one. No, let's grab this. Let's buy the ball lightning. Actually, no, Isocorb. A little bit of AOE, and let's remove a basic peg ball. Peb ball. Knuckles works on my crit orb. Uh, I'm probably going to remove that as soon as I can. A huge non-fan of the crit orb. I find it's extremely unreliable. Doesn't really scale the way I like to play. So... Flying enemies are attacked horizontally. I'll take this apple. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see if I can get this to detonate. I have failed. 
Not gonna do the Sonic and Knuckles build. That's a build. Tell me more. I'm curious. Ching! 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 You're always way greedier than I'm on transition screens. Yeah, I should probably just do the safe thing. But like, if you're not being greedy, are you even peglin? That's what they say, you know? I'd love to get a crit off this one, please. Oh, how did I miss that? Brutal. Just make sure, I wanna to go to the right here. So I should be clearing a path to the right. I do have a path to the right. All right, let's try and get a refresher then so that the next turn is big. All right, I want this crit and I want big, big money from everybody. Wait, the crit's on the outside. Oh, buckets. <laughs> birthday boy gets to be as greedy as he wants. That's why they call it birthday boy, it's true. Be as greedy as you can so we can spin the wheel even more. Nice. Bomb? See, the reason we're winning is because we have the refresh perspective. Everything else we have is bad. Now we scale in. This map is weird because it only has one bomb. Uh, Necro Orb, no. Infern Orb, no. Docked Orb, deals no damage, no. I guess I have to take a Ball Lightning. Feels bad. I want to go to the right here, and I want to get a super good event that's going to make us laugh. That Refresh Orb suddenly looking kind of spicy. Eh. All right, the Dobelisk. It hums. Pray to receive its power, plus Orb. Or I could give it a Pebble. Uh, I could use a new orb. What are you? The power of the obelisks. You now have an orbalisk in your satchel. Wait. Is orbalisk bad? I think that's the one that just drops things. Maybe I should have used it as a card remove. Uh, what is the orbalisk? Gets plus one plus zero for every pebble in your deck. Oh, wow. That one's really bad. I probably didn't want that. Well. Now I'm sad. I should have just used a... An orb remove there. Wild to see how differently you play these games. Oh, yeah. That's how I live my life. Crit. Let's go. Hits everybody. Orbalistic is great. Yeah, but I want to remove all my pebbles, which means I lose most of the scaling off of it. No, I should have just used it as an opportunity to get rid of a, a pebble. You do way more upgrading early on. I mean, I would too if I had orbs that I thought were worth upgrading. There's a couple of ones that I really like and I haven't gotten any of the ones that I like. So now I'm just sad. Uh, You there. Wait, I somehow missed the refresh orb. This is great if it's your build, otherwise it's bad. Yup. Money, 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 money. All right. Can we do 86 damage? Signs point to no. <laughs> it's okay. I only have to do 32. Bonk. Summons one copy of your next orb into your deck. I don't want any of these. Give me the good ones. <laughs> Do 
Deal extra damage the longer your fights are an orb. Bouncers contribute to damage. Each shot, a random shot. Wait. Each shot, a random slot becomes a portal that can teleport orbs to the top of the pegboard up to three times. Pumpkin pie. Summoning is fun? But what am I summoning? The problem is, the problem is I don't have any good orbs. I can't take support orbs if I don't have good orbs, right? I'm just gonna take a conspicuous ring. I'm trying to just do like really safe things here. Hoping to get anything going on. I need some money. Am I gonna end up in the fire as a result of my greed? Hey, it's my birthday week extravaganza, Peglin. Show some respect, all right? It's okay, we're just fighting some kind of giant weird looking mole. All right, we're fine. Ugh. Upgrade an orb? What orb would I even upgrade? I guess I'd upgrade my Isaac orb. Get two crits when you draw it. That's kind of cool. What do you do? Your numbers just go up. What do you do? More zap? Okay. Well, well, well. Look who's still streaming. What up, Gunner? I mean, yeah, it's going to be a while. Isaac Orb. Where is the crit at? Where's my crit at at? Where's my crit at? Come on. Oh. I somehow missed it all. I mean, I guess I didn't even need crit. It still pierces. Already into tomorrow? We sure are. Well, not tomorrow. So gentle reminder, friends, that uh, because of my other job, I can't stream tomorrow. So there will be a gap in the subathon, but I'll be back. And better and stronger than ever. And I can't say anything because, again... Embargoes are a heck of a thing, but you are not going to want to miss Saturday's stream. I am so hyped for Saturday. You're going to lose your minds. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. But you need your mind. This will be worth it. Cool, cool turn. Like I didn't already lose my mind years ago. Good. Even better, Gunner. Pew! Zhao. Oh, you think you can hide? I got a news flash for you. You can't. And y'all were worried about my deck. Wow, this is still so bad. All bombs are replaced by more bombs. <gasps> Squirrel! Oh, all pegs are durable? Randomly adds two orbs to your deck. I mean... Can't get any worse than what we currently have. All right, what do you think? Squirrel? The weird round squirrel, or, I mean, I might actually take durable as well. Spam chat, what do you want to see? Durable bad? I mean, we don't really have anything. That, actually, you're right. Durable is really bad for us. Durable bad. Given your coverage. 
One canal, please. Hey, canal's a goal later on. If we max out the subathon, if we hit 60 hours, I don't know what it's going to mean yet, but I promised canal. It could be anything in the bag. It's true. All right, let's take the satchel. There you go. You wanted me to be more greedy. Uh, right side. Ooh, left side and then right side. Let's see if we can be super greedy. Please don't flood my new home. You say that? Do you know that our dishwasher is leaking? <laughs> All right, we got an Arcentuate Grants. Oh, wow, that seems terrible. Deals four fire damage. Okay, sure. Uh, and then we also got... Oh, that the Orbalisk leveled up. What else do we get? We got two self damages. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, man. What is happening? Why? Okay, we're gonna hit the one bomb. Good, good. Can I get a second bomb? Any second bombs? Yes, two bombs. That clears all the shields. So you're saying there's a chance and then I can target the mage in the back now. I need to get to the crits, which are over. talk about it all right we just gotta get a crit we just gotta get a crit oh my god Slowly gonna burn down them. I don't have any weird buffering issues. I don't have any frame drop arenas or anything like that. I don't want to say it's a you thing, but it might be a you thing. Okay, thank goodness for that. Oh, a couple of people are having some issues. Twitch? Don't think that one's on Twitch. You sure? Anything good? Hey, we got spin faction. That's actually good. Uh, is it too late? Can I add it to my deck? Let's try and get let's try and get that happening. All right. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to the left and we want to cross over and we want to go to the right. When's a shop? There is no shop. left spin flexion is in self damage no more self damage no 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 all right we're gonna get like 17 orb removes here it's gonna be perfect that would be this is the opposite of orb remove okay okay oh my god <sighs> Thank you. 
There's still time. So you're saying there's a chance, right? There's, there's still a chance, everybody. We got this. Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You just got to believe in the heart of the orbs. Do you believe in the heart of the orbs? Should have taken the first option. We're not trying to make our... <laughs> don't take bad orbs to make your bad orbs slightly better. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got one bomb. Can I get a second bomb? They're all good orbs, Bront? Provably false. I hate to tell you this. Okay, we got a refresh. That's really important. It'd be even better if we could hit a bomb or a crit here. I mean, the good news is we're going to kill at least two. Would have been even better if we could have hit a... Um, there, but you know what? It is what it is. Oh my goodness. Mm, bomb. What's a guy gotta do to get a bomb in this economy? Not liking my chances? Oh, we're fine, Gunner. What are you talking about? I'm just dead next turn. Oh, wait, am I dead right now? <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Gunner killing us again. You know... I feel like... I feel like things weren't really ever on our side there. That was uh, remarkably one-sided. All right, we've had two bad runs in a row. We gotta shake it off. All right, real quick, Andre. You got a you got a sub you want to put anywhere? That's okay. Look, it wouldn't be roguelike roguelike if there weren't some of these if there weren't some of these uh, these runs, you know. Yeah, thing on the bright side, we got to see two games very quickly. Andre not here, just the wife lurking. You got a game you want to put a point into? Also, hello. Noah's also fine, by the way. Rapid, yeah, welcome to the rapid fire round. <laughs> just speed running all the games. So at this point, we are we are favored to hit Slay the Spire or Brotato, we'll see. All right. Oh, my love. Hello. Um, spinning the wheel in three, two, one. Oh, and ring. Oh, it's going to be a small one. Across Balisk, the obelisk is back on the menu. Oh, my God. Alrighty. Hey, I'm going to be good now. We played this last night and I learned. We we did like a little wrap up afterwards with chat where you taught me so much about this game. You did a good job yesterday. I did a good job yesterday, right? I would like to resume. Glad I spent all those progression points last night. <laughs> Hey, quick question. Should we do a different run where we get rid of our, our stupid rogue for second mage? What do you think? We do have access to second mage. I really don't like Andrin. Hold on. <clears throat> Two mage party? All right. Let's go to adventure mode. Create a new slot here. So, Magnus is in. How do I remove you? Let's put Amelia in. And then Amelia, we're going to change around here. Amelia, we're going to reset. 
So what do we know about Amelia? Amelia. Uh, yeah, you can be there. Amelia is a frost mage. Does frost and fire... Are frost and fire bad? Like, would this be... A non-bow? Should I do double frost? I just wonder if I apply burn if having chill on them is bad. Oh, they work fine together? Okay, great. Thank you. Perks. All right, reset. So, elemental. Frost. Agonite kits. It's wet that cancels out burn? Nice. Okay. Then let's grab a health. Um, sure. And do you have any shield in your deck? Insulate. Fire and water have some tension. Cold doesn't require water, but cold does have some synergies with water. Well, I do have a little bit of lightning on my other mage, but we'll see. I don't think I have anybody with sight now, but that's okay. What should I do with this last point? Oh, I'm already done. I already have all my points spent. Never mind. What last point? Yes. Good. That was a test. You pass. Very good. It all starts. Off by one? No, 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 no. No, no, no. It was all it was all a clever ruse. Alright. Let's go ahead and load this. So I've never made it far enough to get like to get a chest to start, eh? What are these? What? Town upgrades? What are town upgrades? Currency retention? Oh my god. Removing cards in the starting town is free. Uh. Oh my god. I've never seen any of these before. I never seen this before. I mean, I kind of want to grab all of these. The cost of curing injuries is cheaper. Upgrading is now 15% cheaper. Oh my god. So. I have 15 there. 15, 15, 15, 15. Wild. Okay, so I can't actually get any lower than this. That's so big. Alright, armory. Ooh, dirty bandages. Uh, plus one crossbow. I don't have that character anymore. Simple hat. Love the sound of that. Has this game just graduated to non-wheel stream? Maybe. Maybe. Eldritch Rift. Uh, where should I go? Pick a pick a path for me. Left. Very good. I 
I'd like you to know that I interpret left as meaning up. And that Paul guy thinks middle. All right. I like it. Hey, thank you for using your prime. Thank you for that birthday subbing. Which friend do you want to unlock? I don't know. They keep making me go on quests. I have no idea what any of these friends are. Frog, golem, old man, or pig? <laughs> you know, if you put it that way, uh, kind of like frog. Frog it is. Up we go. The beautiful pig. All right, so I go before any of the enemies here. I don't know what any of them are going to do. So let's protect you. Let's protect me. And let's punch. Now, look at me with two mate, two thingies. Oh, wow. I can just one-shot an enemy? Let's go. Who are you? Amelia. Wow, you're also hovering. That's kind of cool. Well, goodbye. Wait, I have more mana? What the heck? Deal X damage to all monsters. Uh, purge your... What is this? Purge my what? My spell sword? Eldritch Discharge. Okay. She's a literal queen. Yas. Hey, I feel strong. I just need you to know that. Also kind of feels good when I go before they go. Repair armor. Interesting. That only costs one. I think I want to take that. Uh, monster, no, no. All heroes gain, what is that? Insulate and powerful. That's kind of cool. Hey, right, I did give all of my characters, um, I did give all of my characters. Speed, didn't I? Purge, Powerful, Fury, and Bless, and also Dispel Sanctity on anyone. I don't know if that's good or not. I want to I want to keep my eyes out for like Wet and like Fire Purge and stuff like that. All right, the crops are on fire. Near the farm, you come across a burned field and a burning house. In front of the house, there's a fire imp causing fires next to some burning cornies. Even half burned, the house may contain something valuable. Why would you go to... We have a literal ice mage. Hold on, time out. Why wouldn't we ask the ice mage, not the fire mage? What in the world? It's a terrible idea. Hide in the cornfield. Hey, we did it. I just love... Just love that I have an ice mage and we ask the fire mage to try and put out the fire. I think I eased off the heat. I think I eased off the speed on my healer because they were going before anyone else had taken damage. That's fair. Oh my god. She's amazing. Amelia's my goddess. I'm, I can't believe my other option is, you know, that idiot who has 7-2 energy attacks and can't ever do anything else. I'm very upset about how much better Amelia is over that rogue. Like, what in the world? This is night and day. This isn't fair. They don't even get to hit me. <laughs> I'm owning. This bothers me. 
Intimidate. Apply Sight. Oh, that seems really good, actually. Flare. Surge is finally tasting the good life. Yeah, apparently. Clarity seems interesting. I've never really been hit by insane or slow, though. The Burning House. All right, what are my chances of hitting this? 72%. You're at the entrance of the burning house. Clearly this man, this is a poor man's house, but you can see that the contents, wait, but there's a chest. All right, we're going to go in and get that chest, y'all. Four or higher. Shing! Nailed it. Oh, this is cool. Every turn, cast card pebble throw. I don't know what pebble throw does. Oh, burned item, burned item. Interesting. Does anybody I have deal mind damage to anybody yet or no? So you just rob a man that is losing his home to fire? They already left. The ice witch does? Okay. Wait. Yeah, that's good. Wait, no, I lose her time piece, though. So I can't actually do that. So I'll put this here, I guess. It doesn't do anything. Maybe I just take money instead. All right, the Acolyte is going to take this healing thingy. My tank is going to take the max HP ring. Uh, I don't think I want this. Every turn, cast card pebble throw. What does that do? What is pebble throw? <sighs> right click on it. Oh. Just one damage. Uh, oh, pebble throw. No, maybe if I had somebody did physical damage. So I can just do this now, right? Take a hundred bucks. Sick. Okay. All right, let's go get that frog, y'all. Uh, I beg your pardon? You know what? Actually, hold on. We're owning right now, right? We're actually owning. I'm going to go. Let's do a little bit of greed here. Max challenge. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. No, I clicked on it. You can tell because they have 8 million bonus stats. <clears throat> oh, they put out the fire. They actually go now. What's up, ropes? Can't believe it's Snurge's birthday. All monsters. All monsters. You should be dead now. Let's go start to back. Oh, you take more damage, though. <clears throat> Didn't actually rip any... I got damage here, though. Heal you. Barrier you. Alright. Wait, how did you not die? This is terrible news. Okay. Wow, it's a lot of damage. Uh 
I'm just going to kill this because I don't think the bleed's going to do anything. 42 damage. Goodness. All right, let's just kill you as well. Just, just die, I guess. You appreciate pog humor, Snurge? My god. What would we do without you, Snurge? Neat. All right, what are you about to do anyways? You're about to sickle the front hero. I got this 10 heal. You don't remember Desert Bus is a bit of a blur sometimes. What's Desert Bus? Where am I? What year is it? All right, we should have the win right now. This lowers the cold resistance. I mean, I guess it would have been cooler if I did... If I did, like, double Ice Mage. But you know what? Still respectable. Desert Bus is a streamathon. Oh, interesting. Can't believe they're trying to, like, steal my bit like this. You know, maybe I take a second healing rain. A healing rain would put out the burn I have in this deck. How much burn am I applying? I'm applying burn with ember storm and with living flame. Maybe I don't worry about that. Maybe I take this. The enemy didn't die because vitality gives five max HP and five HP and they gained regen, which is before bleed and burn. Ah, thank you. Should call up Desert Bus, maybe do a collab, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna skip all of these. I'm a little bit curious about Burning Rain. Just cause I find every time I die, it's because I'm covered in like burn or something. And the ability to dispel certain things. Maybe I just want dispel. Maybe that's what I actually want. Alright, frog. Tell me about yourself. Whispers in the shadow. You enter a nearby water mill. It seems empty at first glance, but then you hear a whisper directed at you. You aren't my prey. Uh, that accent is definitely out of a lizard man. I've helped your tribe before. Can I just accept? Whatever. Let's do this dialogue. Oh, cool. I get random stuff. Hey, fire damage. I have a fire mage. Combat start. I want more haste. Oh, I lose my armor, though. Wait, did I lose the character event for the quest because I accepted the items? Am I not going to get the Frogman because I let Reginald talk? Well, it's probably fine. Reginald get access to Divine Ire if I accept this challenge. Yes. All monsters gain bonus HP, bonus damage, and every turn they get five points of it can't be cursed. That's fine. Oh, look at these precious pigs. Oh my god. That wasn't a frog, but a lizard, I think. Mm -hmm. Am I not going to get the frogman because Reginald talked is a very video games thing to say? Yeah. Oh, I took a fair amount of damage there. All right. Uh, I can just absolutely nuke and monster, or how much energy do I have? Four. Hmm. 
You take more damage at the back, actually. Hit you with one of them's. All right, Divine Grace. This is one I should probably try and upgrade, actually. Who takes the most damage here? Pretty even. All right, I should stop splitting my damage is what I'm, what I'm gathering here. Uh, another point up front. I'll give you another point and uh, uh, end the turn. kill you. All right, now you're scary. All monsters. Wait, all monsters. There we go. Hit him with the Eldritch Discharge. Man, Amelia, what a goddess. Y'all. Gain fortify. Eldritch discard sounds kind of gross. What was that line that Graham said that everybody loved? Ah, more that goo. Whatever. Same sort of energy, right? Probably nothing. Ah, more of that str yeah, more of that strange oil. <laughs> I got four energy. Let's heal here. Uh, we're gonna auto heal everywhere else too. Uh, maybe I just do damage. Maybe that actually results in taking less damage as the team because Reginald's gonna draw one attack and then we win. Oh man, that feels bad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Graham was quoting a magic card? No way. More of that strange oil is probably nothing. Huh. Unbelievable. Well, this is kind of cool. Never seen this before. I feel like I got Flare on the wrong character here. Oh, that's kind of cool. You know what? I'm going to take this. All Heroes dispels water. You know what? Uh, it's not very thematic, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to say nay. It was Friday nights. Uh, was it Friday nights? I thought it was a special one-off we did for Un. I didn't think that was in Friday nights. Wait, where am I? I'm here. Ah, yes, very good. Now we're at the gates. The Fate Gang, the Fang Gates. You're entering the northern part of the forest. The Fang Gates guarding the bandit camp stand before you and the path will not be easy. Now is the perfect time to rest and prepare for the battle ahead. Remember, you don't have much time to spare. Uh, we could forage for more goods. Love that idea. Nice. Oh, look at this. Gain 5,000 gold. Hey, should I go up into the camp and try and fight this weird forest character event? You know what? Yeah, I feel strong. Let's do it. The Apprentice Craftsman. Hide behind a tree, you find a gnome fiddling with a couple of gadgets. You approach him and ask him what he's doing. Hi, I'm Timothy. I'm waiting for my master. But it's been several days since he left me here, and I'm beginning to think he abandoned me. I know I'm not a good apprentice, and my inventions tend to backfire, but I'd like him to come back. Please, if you see him, tell him I'm going back to the workshop. By the way, do you want my inventions? I accept. I don't want an invention. Okay. Oh. Okay. Whenever you play a melee attack... Oh my god. Bleed. Nope. 
Uh, plus cold damage. When you play a spell, suffer cold. That actually seems great because, yeah, that seems really good, actually. Uh, this spyglass is absurd. What? Combat start, just apply to all monsters? Hello? When you die, retain an extra 20% of your accessories. These are all so good. Take it for now. Wow. Could it be Timmy, the inventor of donuts? Oh, if we'd only be so lucky. When entering the bandit camp, you see a really big werewolf yelling and giving orders to other werewolves. He notices your presence and looks at you with a mocking face. That's Yogar, the butcher of Synenthia. He's been terrorizing the forest for a while. It's time to put a stop and disperse the bandits. Running away would only make things worse. Uh, it's, wait. I have allowed your misdeeds for a long time. This ends today. Oh, yes, my queen. The queen herself deigns to come for me. What an honor. Wait, she's literally a queen? Incredible. I heard that your own advisor has betrayed you and kidnapped your daughter. The truth is that I'm not all that surprised by that scoundrel. Enough of my chatter. If I finish you off today, the kingdom will fall to my hands. Although Yogur played tough with the queen, the truth is he's quite afraid of having to face her. This game is really hard, Cheesecake. I just need you to know that you could potentially die. Yes. Oh my god. Joe came in just to pat-pat me and tell me and we got it. Summons. All right, they're covered in debuffs. Oh, the debuffs from being afraid of the queen. Yes, queen. <laughs> the ability to apply self frost is actually so good right now. So. A little bit more armor here. A little bit more armor to everybody. Hit you a little bit of burn. Reginald, you got any heals? Oh my god. Uh, let's just do zero and get a heal in as well. I don't know if I want to put global on them, you know? I don't like that. Yo, Jiho, thank you so much for gifting the sub to Cheshul. There's a bunch of meta knowledge you should know before moving too far forward. Nah, I'm not going to read the dungeon. <laughs> but thank you. All right, what do we got going on here? So they're also healing themselves. I barricade everybody. I appreciate that 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 exists that ain't me keep applying stuff here all heroes are about to take eight all right well got one energy left i'll just defend <laughs> so i'm kind of hoping i can just vibe and play this game and then maybe good things will happen but we'll see all right, you're about half dead. Can I make you dead dead? Ooh, Ray of Faust. How much energy do you have? Currently you have three? How can I cast a four energy spell if you only have three energy? Explain that to me, please. Do I have six? She has six energy? So three, why does it say three then and not six? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong character. I'm sorry. Yes, she has six energy. I understand. Just burn down the boss.
Do I just go for the kill here? It's another 24. Let's play it a little bit safer. This should be done next turn cycle. Oh, man. All my armor dropped and then they got to hit me. Feels bad. All heroes about to take eight. Front heroes also going to take some extras. So all heroes protect the slower ones. I mean, may as well just punch, punch, right? Extremely rude. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, Evelyn. Kill, Evelyn. Oh. <laughs> She's owning. Grant X block where X is equal to your draw pile times four. Draw a card and fortify. Cool. And that seems good. Transforms your bleed into shield and then suffer more cold. Yeah. I mean, again, I love this. I love this um, self strip for ice barrier, which I have two copies of. So this seems great. Combustion. Uh, nah. Dark Ritual. Where are my Storm players at? Ooh. Hero, heal X. X is equal to your draw pile times 1.5. That could be a big heal. I like big heal. You did it! Yager is no more. With the Butcher dead, the remaining bandits flee, and the forest will be a little bit safer. You can check the camp for gold and other valuables. I do it. Oh, everybody leveled up. Let's go. Golden shards are scattered throughout the camp. You also found a large chest where the bandits kept all the things they looted over time. I want you to be defensive. Regal cold. Self. Freeze. This is so small. The text is so small. Apply chill to the highest enemy. Suffer chill, I guess. What does this do? Psychic damage. Plus, bonus to Psychic and Frost damage. When you play a spell, reduce the cost of the highest spell in your hand by one until discarded. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll play that one instead. Evelyn. Uh, I like the Elemental Proliferation. And Reginald. Get more heal. Dark Ritual and Storm. How about Dark Ritual and Mono Black Aggro? Because that's me. Nice. Oh, plus one speed? Sorry, simple hat. <laughs> uh, more speed on more people. Wow, combat starts with three more punch? Just 15% bonus damage? Yes, please. I think I skip skip on the other two. Wait, actually, hold on. Shuffle Howl into your deck. Um, No, I don't want that, actually. I think I skip... Wait. Oh, she can just go faster. Yes, please. Wait, taking a second version of the same item upgrades it? Oh, how I... Neat. Wait, do I want to go... Hold on. Do I want to go to the character event or do I want to go to the boss, y'all? What do you think? We can go up this way? I mean, I guess there's no reason not to. Don't go up? All right. You don't have to tell me twice. 
<laughs> the tree is awakening. The obelisk is in sight, but something is dangerous and blocking the way. An old tree ant, once known as the protector of the forest, has awakened and been tainted. So, I could rest, 84% chance. I could try and ambush it, 31% chance. Uh, let's try and heal, because I actually took... Actually, I didn't take that much damage. Let's use the queen here. If I had more time, I could have cured you. I'm sorry, great protector of the forest, but I have to find my daughter. Amelia casts a quick spell to weaken everybody. Wow. How weak are they? That's kind of cool. <clears throat> Alright, who are we attacking here? Random hero. Fastest hero. I'm not going to bother doing these because it's immune to bleed. So I'm just going to save four energy. All right. Got five energy. Let's just start blasting. All monsters, eh? Before it gets the thorns, I'm just trying to hit this thing as much as possible. Let's actually put this on our tank. Oh my god. Look at this first turn. Wait, I could just kill one of these. Or I could blast the boss for 25% of its remaining HP. Your go. <laughs> Y'all. I didn't realize I could pump for more damage after. They have eight thorns, which kind of honks. That's kind of like major honk central right now, you know? All right, Magnus. Let's see it. Safeguard. That seems big. Stack 50 block. Sick. Oh, I got fortify. I can just keep stacking. Alright. Now, I know you got thorns. But I don't think I care. I mean, if I do this, how much does this hurt me? Oh, how did I gain 11 off of that? Hold on, somebody explain to me how I healed off of that fireball. Because <laughs> I legitimately don't know. Sanctify? What does Sanctify do? The attacker heals 10 damage when this target is hit by an enemy. What? That's what Sanctify does? Oh, sick. I'm learning so much this run, you have no idea. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, like actively healing. Wow. Maybe I can fight my way through this. Nah, too bad. 
Trying to see if I can maybe heal off those Sanctify stacks, you know? Wow! I'm owning! This is unbelievable! I've never experienced anything like this before. Uh, first a Dispel Bleed Heal 10. Incredible. And my cards are good? Elemental Bolt. Deal, uh, no. No. Clear Instruction. Discover three skills and place one on top of your deck. No. Icicle Barrage. Wrong person. Scorching Ray. Nah. Purge Heroic Transform? Dark into regen. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen dark before. The faster you win, the better it is. That's incredible. Oh my god. The, all the DPS. I mean, I don't even think... Okay, obviously the queen is cracked. But like, the ranger you start with just feels really bad. Like, the ranger feels like the starting deck is extremely clunky. And just very expensive for what you get out of it, you know? The queen is cracked. Long live the queen. Hey, um, I've never encountered dark before. Should I spec into dark removal just in case or nah? Town upgrades help? Sure, but like... I haven't changed her deck at all, and I'm slain. And everyone I've played, I felt like the rogue is just extremely weak. Just skip it? Okay, thank you. Like, yes, upgrading the town can make it better, but at the same time, like, night and day. This is an unmodified queen versus unmodified Mang, and Mang is bad. Really wants to go in one direction or the other? Sure, but again, like... I don't disagree that you can make them better. What I'm trying to say is they suck. <laughs> you know? Power creep with DLCs. All right. There we go. Uh, this seems unbelievable. Now that I know what Sanctify does. Whoo. Discordian token, what's up, friend? 60! Yo! Enjoy your brand new bean. Thank you. That's such a long time. Holy moly. So hold on. You're telling me that because I already have bandages here, right? So if I put the same thing on top of the same thing, it gets better. Does this count as that or no? What's up, David? So there's a thing that may be an issue with your timer every time I'm here. It's more. It has a different name. Okay. Even though they're functionally the same thing, they're not the same thing. Got it. <laughs> All right. Sorry, piggy bank. But uh, I want to take Yggdrasil's roots. Wait. Plus one healing done. Whenever you play a healing spell, gain a thing. Uh, that seems... This seems like a huge improvement. Just sustain my mage through everything. Glove on the mages. So, speed or... Oh, there we go. Leather glove, leather glove. So, this should upgrade, right? Max 10 HP every turn. Yeah. Let's go. So the shield of thorns is good. All right, what do you like better? So I can get rid of the piggy bank and give them Idrisil's roots. Seems pretty strong. Or I can start stacking thorns, but then I lose 10 max HP and plus one speed. So I kind of feel like Idrisil's roots is the way to go on my tank. But I'm curious if you agree with that.
I'm going to take the silences. Your read is correct, Jaeger. <laughs> so the issue here is, I obviously think that Eomer's branch is really strong, but like plus one charge on Sanctify seemed really good. And I don't get that now. Unless a boss item is purple, you won't find a duplicate in something. Keep it in mind. Sure. All right, I think I just skip here, actually. On the last one. Because I didn't have anywhere to go with it. But cool. Whispers in the Shadow. The Shadow figure wants a strong venom, which can be found inside a spider cave in Aquafell. All right, we're going to Aquafell. You cross the portal, and before you realize it, you're in another place. <laughs> All right. The group went across the obelisk and in an instant found themselves in another place, far from the Synenthian forest. One of the mysteries of the obelisk has been revealed to them. In ancient times, the obelisk was used as a means of transportation. I knew that. All right. So, uh, question mark is good. Question mark is also good. We want to do both question marks. Is that doable? Presumably, we'll find out. All right, first things first. We're going to go to the church. We're going to try and remove some cards here. So how much does a card remove? 90 bucks. I'm going to remove Rend. Uh, I don't love that Icicle is random, so I kind of want to remove it too. Oh, actually, I'm going to remove Nightmare. Stick with the ice. Try and specialize them, you know? Not seeing the actual gameplay, this seems incredibly complicated. So one of the things you can do for this is you can play this game multiplayer, so each person only has to manage their own character, which seems really fun, to be honest. Something to think about. What do I want to do here? How do I make your deck better? What do you recommend I do for Reginald chat? I've got so much money. I can do a bunch of upgrades and stuff too. Try and get more healing, but yeah, should I like should I remove flash? I could also try and remove the uh the barriers here so that all they do is damage and stuff. Like the barriers kind of neat, but still. For this question, no, tell me what you would do with Reginald. I don't know. Answer that question as you see fit. Removing non-heal seems good. I mean, I have kind of been digging some of the damage. Cut the barriers. I have three card removes, right? Get it down to 15. He goes last, so barrier isn't great. Yeah, that's fair. Good call. All right, let's cut the barriers. All right, now we can go to the altar and we can start upgrading some of these. Uh, first things first, I really like Barricade. Try better shield. Really? Interesting. Most people like cut the barriers and Sir Moark is like more barriers. Even though he goes last. Hold on. What is this? Fury. Suffer bleed? No thank you. I don't want to spend a thousand on this. That's for sure.
Kind of like this side. Oh, it costs one energy, though. I'll take the free side. <laughs> Going last and applying a big shield is a strong tactic. Why? Hold on. Barrier itself is not good. Shield, the status is blocked next turn. So going last and applying big shield can be strong. But also like Magnus currently goes first a lot of the time. Magnus has been going first all the time. Like jamming speed on Magnus and then applying barrier to the whole team so nobody gets hit or barricade rather. <clears throat> I'll upgrade that. All right, everybody gets at least one upgrade. Uh, I've really been digging Frost Nova. Yo! Yo! Nibbles! $39 dono. Thank you so much, friend. All right, so hold on. 39 uh, is like eight subs. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Calc. Uh, eight times 120. I have to manually add 960 seconds. <laughs> How you doing, Nibbles? It's good to see you, friend. Really appreciate that. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you for the support. That's mega generous. Have you been well? Now, why are you internet sleuthing? And oh, I get it. Thirty-nine dollars because I turned thirty-nine. Thank you. I was like, that's an oddly specific number. What are you sleuthing? And then I realized that's how old I turned. <laughs> Uh, do I want to try and apply this? No, I just kind of like this. I just want to upgrade both of these. These AoE spells seem kind of fun. Speaking of which, I've got a big old AoE Firestorm. Yeah! Oh, it's already upgraded. This kind of removes it from the deck, which I'm fine with. Oh yeah, reminder, uh, Nibbles. If you want to stick around, you can put points into the next wheel too. Appreciate that. Self-chilling can be good, or can be tough. Yeah, I got a couple of cards for her that do that already. So I take it that the if there's an arrow beside it, it's already been upgraded. Is that correct? Oh, somebody said try and get an upgrade that makes these free. Ah, there it is. But this draws a card. Mm, I see. Oh, arrows rarity. Okay. You're like four months older than me. So as your elder, you're going to tell you to eat your vegetables and get a good night's rest. <laughs> Name color is the upgrade. So divine ire is upgraded, but these haven't been. Okay. Holy smite costume three is way too much. Oh, all heroes. Let's go, Healing Rain. That's huge. Oh, this is neat. Turns it into a damage card? Purple upgrade is corrupted. Is usually some kind of effect. Okay. A lot to learn here. I like... Man, I want to do more, but this is just so much work. Let's just upgrade all the free spells. Just spend a bunch of money here. Like. Just looking at all my free cards and seeing if I can't make them better. Uh, let's make these all free. Bulk heal. Have I visited the card forge? What's a card forge? A 
have no idea what card forge card card forge is. Ooh we hold on the golden chalice. Heal down plus two. Also, oh man. Should I replace Elmer's branch? Wow. So, I mean, obviously the regen is huge, right? But like this seems huge too. Uh, fire orb. Okay, that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade and a half. Oh my God. I can buy both. Chalice is one of the really, really good ones. Yeah. Should I get rid of Ilmer's branch, y'all? I think I should. Sorry, Ilmer's branch. Let's do it. All right. You're saying go to the upper left. Where's the upper left? I might not have it unlocked. Is there supposed to be another building here? Oh, just this one? Oh, I can just buy cards? Oh, you're saying I can just... I mean, there's too many cards, though. See, I look at this, and I'm just like, y'all, I cannot handle how many cards there are here. <clears throat> there we go. Only give me the rares. I already have one first aid, right? I have a first aid. Uh, what are debuffs I need to worry about this act? Is there like a really important thing I should be getting ready to get rid of? Give me a little tip here. What's the most important status I need to be able to clear? Is poison? Okay. So I can get an absorption. I'll get at least one and upgrade it. And upgrade it. Oh. Well, so if I just search for the word poison on Reginald, I've also got detoxify. Where'd it go? There it is. Ooh. There, I can reuse it. There, so we got two of them, right? Two detoxes? I think that should be fine. Let's just check everybody here. Okay. You can also just look at it and craft it directly. Interesting. What, are, what does this mean? Press here to claim this reward. Sorry, what? Why do I get to claim rewards? You can stack up to three chests. All right, I'll take one. I don't understand. Now I have money again. I don't want more money. <laughs> oh, these are the previous run chests? Okay, I now understand why people say, hey, you could actually be kind of strong. Okay. All right, I can remove three cards from this deck. Next question. If you would remove three cards from this deck, you know what? Maybe I get rid of three defense. Or, hmm. What are you removing from Magnus? I should upgrade Intercept after. Defend and Fast Strike are my worst cards. I could get rid of... Um, Two slash one defend? Sure. I like that. 
Man, I'm spending forever on this run. Upgrade. Ooh, costs one mana, but I can do it on any hero. Let's just do nine. All right. I'm just going to go now. Town upgrades. Oh, my God. I could upgrade from here, too. I can't handle this. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, unlock the pet, the pet shop. Sure. I got pets now, y'all. What do pets do? Where's the pet shop? <laughs> I guess that's the, the next town, right? In the armory? Pets. Bun Bun. <gasps> They're all locked though, except for this one. You're interested I can put together some pre-made decks sure there's so much going on in this game yes <laughs> absolutely real gamer cow you and me both you know what we're gonna do though we're just gonna enjoy the vibes we're gonna play it like we're playing slay the spire or something right I'm just gonna go down in a straight line here and then I'm gonna get to this question mark the spider lair all monsters are immune to decay and scourge. When a monster deals damage, it applies stuff. Each hero will be able to remove two cards for free. Uh, I'm just going to fight a normal one here. There's more than one tab in the pet store. You know, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I, I'm done. <laughs> Too much. Oh my god, I have a bun bun. Look at it. Yeah, this game just has too much information and I am just not going to bother trying to optimize for all of it because I can't. <laughs> There's too many systems in this game. So I'm just going to kind of vibe. I was wanting a longer run. Monkey's paw curls. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> One of the things you can do is save decks. Yep. Hey, repair. Love to see it. Makes me stronger. Also love it. All right. Front hero. Highest HP hero. So you're all going to hit me. Yeah, I have a saved deck for my mage. Well, the other issue with the saved deck was the previous times, like, the I've done, I think, five runs now. I never was able to start with any money because I hadn't unlocked the meta progress or stuff like that. So there's no point in me saving a deck because... It never, I never had the money to do anything with it. You know what I mean? So I'm like, absolutely going to do that now. But again, there was no reason to do it before. If that makes sense. It's a game that wants you to take your time learning. I mean, I think that works better when you're not streaming it, but it's all good. 
It's all good. I'm having fun. You can take previous runs money. Yes, again, I just unlocked that. Oh, I cured your bleed, you fool. You absolute melon. <laughs> now what are you going to do? Works better when you're not specifically streaming roguelike roulette. Well, again, one of my fundamental issues with this game is I don't like how hard the first run is, if that makes sense. I've just never played a game that so deliberately makes you so bad the first run. Like, it's shocking um, how much meta progress you need to do something in this game. As, as, a, as, a, as an outsider looking in, the onboarding for this game is brutal. Getting the wrong spells on the wrong characters here. Hey, uh, this is the global healing rain. I think I'll, no, I don't need this one right now. It applies rain. He applies Sanctify. I'll take this. Hey, what up, Anime Kitty? How you doing, friend? Came to love this game, but did not earn that love in the first couple of runs? Yeah. This game is a Las Vegas buffet. It's great, but it's also a lot. <laughs> An odd war on the battlefield. You see a lizardman fighting against a croco man. After a while, something catches your attention. It's not a war. It actually seems like a competition to see which tribe is the strongest. Both sides see you, but they don't seem to care that you're there. In fact, they encourage you to join. The highlight of the battle is about to begin, and the two leaders will face off. What do you do? I'm going to bet. Gamba, I'm in. I bet on the lizard man. Oh my god. Zero, four, zero, zero. Somehow we won. He's got home from work. Well, welcome here, friend. Man, we're having a, kind of a wild day. All right. Oh my god, mass dispel on all heroes? I think I have to get that. That seems so good, and it's currently locked. I can handle this. I'm not even going to read what they get. Front hero. You're going to get some thorns. Okay. What are you going to do? <clears throat> Random hero. Front hero. Okay. We're going to get... Front hero is about to get blasted. Front hero is about to get blasted. Probably should have enraged first, but that's fine. Upon reaching 25, suffer four shadow damage and remove all charges. Okay. Hey, remember how I said, should I take that thing that lets me remove dark? And everyone's like, nah. Chat. <laughs> I just want to kill this one. Wait. Wait. All monsters gain. All heroes gain. When you play a thing, suffer two and also go insane. Oh, cool. This is probably fine. If I hit... Ah, oh, whatever. I'll just do this. <laughs> Hello, Reginald. I just like to blast that, please. Very good. Captain's Howl. Wait, where did you come from? Who's this little homie? Generates an additional award of 150 per hero if I kill it. Oh.
Hmm. We had a thousand subs. I know. I'm so flattered. Anime Kitty, it's kind of wild. What's 1500? 1500 is I take James for bougie poutine. Bougie poutine. Bouge teen. So yeah. Y'all get to look forward to, at some point, I don't know when it's going to happen because I have to get, I have to be done with this first. But at some point, I'm going to be taking that Ben Ben for a little coffee adventure. Get a little regen to everybody here. Wait, dispel one. Nice. What makes it bougie? Costs more than $5. <laughs> wow. Very funny. You're going to make it very hard for me to kill you, aren't you? Or you're going to get hit by this ray of frost and just fall over. Oh, I just took damage. Whatever. My shield blocked it. What I wouldn't give for anything from a restaurant to cost less than five bucks. So back in the day... There was a rad place in Victoria that was called uh, Fifth Street Bar and Grill. Oh my god. How did I just take 40? Sorry. Suffer six damage and remove all charges. Why did I take so much more than six? What? What in the world? Anyways, Fifth Street Bar and Grill. They used to have a menu that was five bucks, ten bucks, fifteen bucks. It was rad. Uh, I seem to be taking a lot more than, like, six damage when that hits me. It's damage per stack. Also, we can't see her stacks. Oh, I can, I can just do this. Because, like, when I was looking at this, it didn't seem like it was that much. Hmm. Insane also lowers your shadow resist. Okay, well, I got this mass dispel now, which is kind of sick. Came in like a wrecking ball. No, thank you. Ooh, grants plus two speed to a hero. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to take it, but I'm glad I got it. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, there we go. Look at the size of this. That's not a lot of damage for uh, five. I mean, it is AOE, but like fireball costs three. Another sacred bolt? Hello? No, that's fine. Oh, hitting all monsters is a lot. Yeah, I like the way you think. I'll take this big old fireball. So I took a bit of damage here. Maybe going for this heal is fine. Well-deserved rest. You've left the lands of the Lizardmen and the Crocomen behind and are already halfway to the obelisk. The area head looks even more dangerous. You can see spider webs and pools of poison. Good place to rest before continuing. I can take care of any injury. <laughs> 32% chance. Ah, you're fine. Look around for goods. I'm just going to heal. There we go. Look at this. The spider lair. Wait, oh, I have to fight first. Magnus gets whirlwind for free. I'm sorry, that costs seven energy. <laughs> Each hero will be able to remove two cards. So that seems bad, actually. I'll just fight a normal fight. Can I tell you a small mechanic related to the camps? Sure. Front hero. Purge, then apply darkness. Well, that sucks. Why you gotta be like that? Heesh. 
If you have a healer in the party and take a non-heal option, you can remove cards even on a failure. If you have a healer in the party and you take the non-heal option. Sorry, I don't know what that means. What cards am I removing? Why is it a failure? Sorry, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of like ingrained knowledge about how this game works that I have no idea what that means. I think I still want this one to die. Turns out playing Brotato while trying to watch me is a bad idea. Nah. Brotato and Surge is a combination made in heaven. Ooh, Mask Dispel. You know... Seems alright. Let's do it right now. Alright, alright. Apply a little bit of Sanctity over here. So try and take care of an injury. Camp options about removing a card. Sure, but like, I don't have any injuries this game. I just don't understand how or why that came up. I haven't failed anything. Why are we talking about injuries? What's an injury? An injury is a status you get, right? Just nuke this. Uh, which one am I more worried about? I'm going to kill the spider in the back row. Or not. Okay, cool. Don't worry about it. Doesn't have to be an injury or a curse. You just get a card remove. Interesting. Where did you come from? Oh, does that big spider summon little spiders? Cool, hate that. Oh, it's taunted. I have to attack it. Wow. I hate you for that. This game is very, very difficult to understand. I'm in awe of those of you who can play it and understand it. Oh, hopefully you're also having a good time just watching me click random cards and f watch the enemies fall over, you know? Big fan of that. Like, look at this guy go. Oh, you put a hatch in my deck. You're the problem. I found the problem. Your brain must be this big to play the game. Where am I? Where am I on that list, Gunner? 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 <laughs> uh, uh huh. Gunner? Hey, Firestorm! Hey, so my mages are starting to pop off. <clears throat> You're invisible for a while, which is kind of frustrating. Mm, did that mean I leveled up? That's kind of cool. I can't play anything? Wow. Who needs a heal? You need a bit of a heal. You need a bit of a heal too. Hello? How long do I have to wait? Oh, you attacked me. You're back now. Okay. Goodbye. It is time for you to die. GG.
So I'm getting lots of unlocks, which is kind of cool. Oh, sharing is caring. Split your defense. That's kind of neat. Bookworm. Reveal the book from your draw pile. Nah. Flare. Apply burn. Or re remove, bleed, apply burn. It's kind of funny. Uh, a hero gains plus 10 max HP, and it also gains regenerate, which is kind of cool, but I think I'm just going to skip on all of these. Ooh, dispel. Never mind. I'm going to take that. There we go. All right. No more dispel. Try and jump forward. The spider's cave. You arrive at the entrance of a cave full of cobwebs. It's obvious that all the spiders you've been killing came from literally this one cave. <laughs> This is undoubtedly the cave. Do you think this is the cave? The cave specific that they're talking about? The cave full of the spiders? That cave? I don't know. What do you think? Could be another cave? Could be another cave. Yeah, I agree. Cusco's cave? <laughs> yeah. Ah, that was my favorite philosophy book. Cusco's cave. Wait, I only have a 30% chance? Ah, oh, we got this. Oh my god, we actually got this? <laughs> you all fall to safety as the ground collapses behind you. You get used to the dim lights inside the cave and move on. As you advance, you realize the air itself is poisonous. Love her to be anything except for a cave full of spiders? I'm sorry, friend. It's a fantasy game. Why would it be anything other than spiders? A narrow gap as you go further into the cave. The cave full of spiders. This cave that every single spider originated from. The spider cave. You come across the skeleton of an adventurer. Next to him, you see a gap in the wall. It seems that the adventurer tried to cross the gap, but took too long and was swarmed by spiders. From the spider cave. The cave of all the spiders. <laughs> Upon inspecting the gap, you notice a current of air going through it. You sure it leads somewhere else inside of the cave. The cave of spiders. The cave of... <laughs> I'm sorry. With spiders lurking, you must decide what to do. Looking at the dead adventure, you decide to leave or take your chances with the gap or examine. I'm going to take my chances. Oh my god. Five or lower. Zero. 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 Five? Success! <laughs> All right, the Obelisk of Corruption. So, I could give every monster bonus HP or not. <laughs> uh, I I choose I choose not. All right, what am I looking at here? Random hero, front hero, front hero, all hero. Hypnotism. All heroes. Uh, the front hero is going to get hit a lot. So let's get ready for that. It's a pretty good first turn. Unfortunately, I spread my damage perfectly on all enemies. Feels kind of bad. My armor. That's a lot of poison. Like, already. Hey! Fireball. That's a good fireball. Off to cook some dinner. Have good one, Mark. Thanks for hanging out. Xaxes. Uh, you look like you took the most damage. It's almost like I'm in a poison biome. No, it's just a coincidence. Look at that. My tank is my fastest hero. How great is that? That makes me very happy. 
What is this? Shackle. Oh, my speed is literally zero? Cool. Big fan. I'm gonna kill this one. Or I'm gonna leave it at one HP. You know, that works too. Good call giving the tank the bunny. Thank you. Fireball. IRL tanks are pretty speedy. Sorry, when you say IRL spell. Oh, hey, mass dispel. Let's go. You mean like the machines? Because <laughs> I don't think in real life there are people whose job it is to tank. It's gonna luck, sorry. The big metal machines on tracks. Are they zoomy? How fast? What's the max speed of a tank these days, chat? Surge taking a jab at LARPers. Hey. Actually, LARPing is getting like super popular these days. Any LARPers in chat? Forty-five miles per hour, fifty to seventy. So they can get up to like road speed. That's respectable. That's pretty zoomy. All right, I really want my healer to pop off here. Oops. Where's milk? He's larped before. <laughs> you shall represent all the larpers. Tell me. Did I do like none damage there? What's happening here? The Russian tanks get up to like 90 kilometers an hour. Aren't these things supposed to be like off-road? What if you hit like anything? I mean, I guess you're in a tank. If you hit anything, it's probably going to die. That's fair. They go fast, but the acceleration... Oh, right. I guess the acceleration is a big one, too, right? <clears throat> Have you ever seen tank Olympics footage? I'm sorry. I don't know if, if that's real or not. There's tank Olympics? Oh, the flanking strike. That's kind of cool. No, thank you. Mirror image. That's kind of cool. That's actually very cool. In eight... Hmm. Ice Barrier. I'm getting the wrong spells on the wrong wizard. Ying Yang Bolt. <laughs> uh, deal X Holy Damage and X Shadow Damage. X applies... Um, no, that's too much reading. What is X? X equals target's shadow resistance curse currently. No, that's that's too much brain for me. I mean, this is kind of like healing. The neat thing is applying sanctity is like applying healing, right? Or sanctify. I don't know. I'd rather just have healing, healing. All right, we're going to go... Up or down? Uh, I'm going to avoid the one that actually... I'm going to ignore the one that says egg chamber. Thank you. I'm going to go this way. Slimes on the bridge. You go over a bridge to cross over a river of poison. But on the next bridge, there's a group of poisonous slimes. To continue to get to the other side, it seems you have to face them as the only solution. You can also try to avoid the bridge and jump directly to the other side. But if you fall on the river... Wait, if you fall in the river, you can reach the other side, but you'll be poisoned. What do you do? We can fight. We can try jumping on the other side. Oh, everybody's chance. Okay. Or you can freeze them. Why? 
why wouldn't you ask the ice mage? We have a literal ice queen. Evelyn! That's twice now, Evelyn. That's twice. All right. Everybody jump. Everybody's a good jumper. Oh my god. Everybody but the mage made it. Wait. Other way around. Oh, I have an injury. That seems bad. The spider queen. You reach the end of the cave and you find yourself in a chamber full of cobwebs. In it. You can see a spider and a herder patrolling. But when you look up, you see a large creature. Half human, half spider. It's Tula, the spider queen. And your only way out of this cave is by defeating her and climbing through the cobwebs. Are you sure that the strong venom you're looking for is her venom? <clears throat> I think I just fight. I should probably level up first, eh? The start of your turn, reduce the cost of the defense cards in your hand by one until they're discarded. Amazing. Amelia. Time loop. Change the spell card type requirement of Eldritch to any card type. Once per combat, when you reach level 5 spell sword. That's too many words. Reduce the cost requirement of Eldritch to one or more energy. Reduce the cost requirement of Eldritch to one or more energy. But spell sword increases all damage done by one instead that says Frost. I'm going to click on Frost. Elemental Amplifier. Bonus damage to burn, chill, and spark. Or, when you play a fire spell, you gain two powerful. Cold spells give me block. Lightning gives me dispel. Incredible. I want versatile. And Reginald. Chastise. When you play a holy spell, add a randomly upgraded holy smite. With cost zero and Fanish to your hand. That's very cool. Or Healing Surge. We play a healing spell card that costs energy. Refund one energy and grant one bless to the most damaged hero. What's up, Alnep? GM Surge and Brew Crew, I woke up sick, but being able to join the stream is making me feel better. I'm sorry that you're not feeling well, but I'm glad that you're here. All right. The Spider Queen. All right, she's about to dispel herself, so let's hit other people instead. I'm just going to try and burn them from front to back and see what happens. <clears throat> What's up, Betazed? It's been a hot minute, but I'm still around liking the new digs. I'm glad you're here. Hope you're having an amazing day, friend. Flame Strike. This actually does more damage. This one applies burn, but you're going to dispel, so there's no point in doing that. So I do this. When did you get poisoned? I'm gonna save on to this one for now. Save on. Good good English Jaeger. Oh, maybe the river incident? Maybe. All starts. All fights start with poison because the poison is gases. Mm. you gunner gunner thank you very much friend you're an absolute delight and i'm super glad you're here 
very sweet message. I also have to update the subathon timer. So six times 120. Thank you, friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just very gently from Gunner. The first thing said, please don't read out loud. So, I didn't. <laughs> just, just to let people know what's going on there. I have one energy. Let's get some more block on me there. Alrighty, what are we doing here? Uh, we're trying to heal our mage who's trying their absolute best to die. Uh, let's get some regen on everybody. Bottom half is cut off. If I move everything up, I mean, I can move it up a little bit. But if I move too much up, then it covers things. So, I mean, it's fine if the timer's cut off. But now if things wrap, they don't see it. So, I'm sure, I'm sure you can put together what they're, uh, what they say. Does TQ know we have a bun bun friend in this game? Amazing. Hey, what's up, Suffix? Oh my god, my mage. First aid over there. I need to protect. Must protect. You done your nine to five? Welcome. All right, can I win here? Oh no, there was an egg. There was an egg hiding inside of me all along. Right, I'm taunted. Extremely frustrating. All right. Uh, go away. Dispel one hero. Do I have mass dispel here? I do not. All right, who's the most dangerous? You've got seven poison on you. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to heal you. And then I'm going to heal you again. And then we're going to ask the boss what they're doing. Wait, no. Then I'm going to heal you a third time. Now we're going to ask the boss. Wait, I can't ask the boss anything. I've got Fortify, so I can just stack all this block. I think... I think we got ourselves a good run here, friends. I think we are absolutely cruising. How many axes this game? Oh my god, that's so many that's so many eggs inside of my inventory right now. Did I just absolutely one-shot nuke that little baby spider? Wow. That's gonna be hubris soon? I mean I guess so. I have eight energy that I'm passing the turn with there. Devastating. All right, mass to spell? Yeah, sure, no mass to spell there, huh? A full run usually took us two co-op sessions. How long am I gonna be playing this for? <laughs> I mean, I got time. Oh, we got time for sure. Nobody is bleeding. Go up adds more time. Okay, that's fair. Okay, uh, we got a dispel here. So you've got 12 poison on you. 
Oh, I have a hit mass dispel. That was kind of a waste. It's okay. I've got plenty of energy. Good. What I definitely what I need is more energy next turn. <laughs> They have so much energy. Is there like a good way to get card draw in this game? Because I feel like... Minus 33%. I feel like uh, I'm getting this a lot, right? You know what? Let's get some more. Let's get some more card draw on you for the next turn. Coat of arms. Wow, that's so big. <laughs> sure. Deal 11 damage. Apply two cold. Repeat four times. Sheesh. Shadow binding. It did that to me. Uh, scorching ray. Nah. Purge. Redemption transforms darkness of redemption is back. I think I just skip on all of these. Winter orb is a bomb. It's a total of five hits. I guess. I don't know. I kind of like what my deck's doing already. Everybody wants water orb? All right, fine. I'll give you your water orb. Fine. I'm not taking this though. That's 55 damage. Yeah, but it's so big. Death to the queen. After a tough fight, you finish off Tula, the spider queen. Now you'll take a short break to regain strength and look for a way out of the cave. Also, you need some time for the effects of the Tula's poison to wear off little by little. While you wait, you cut open the cocoons of the dead and you loot their stuff. Well, that's ominous. Wait, honorable. As the shadowy figure asked you at the water mill, you extract the venom and store it in a flask. You feel good about accomplishing this feat. And when you have the opportunity, you'll give the flask to him. You search for items and gold of the cocoons of the dead while you wait for them. Honorable. I definitely think looting the dead is honorable for sure. All right, give me a second, friends. I'm going to take a quick pee break. I'll be right back.
How you doing, everybody? Woo! The, uh... 20 hours streamed in the past two days is starting to catch up on me a little. <laughs> I'm just getting real tired. That's all right. That's the point. We're getting into it. All right. I have to read all these items, eh? So, max HP plus two. Two times per turn. Whenever you play defense card, recover 3% of your health and get... Oh my god, and get speed. So I don't get to go as fast the first turn, but that's absurd. Wow, Steadfast Shield is wild. When you play a defense spell, recover 3% of your health. That's so good. <laughs> when you heal a hero, apply... Okay, so Golden Bell... Now, here's an interesting question. Golden Bell would replace the combat bandages. And I guess everyone's happy with that. Honorables because the frog told me to kill her? I don't know. I think lore-wise, it's way funnier if uh, it's because I looted bodies. But, you know. <laughs> Free cover is also for the healer. Oh, oh, interesting. You read that as free cover. I saw that as free lover. <gasps> oh. All right. Plus max HP seems really strong. Uh, bonus plus one heal eight times per turn. When you apply regen, a random hero gets max HP. That's absurd. Uh, Dappy Gosling, thank you for the 42. Serge, it's not the 70s anymore. That is an L. That is not a C. <laughs> I like. <laughs> All right. So this goes here. Man. Oh, this is so tough. Golden Bell or Free Lover? That's an L, 100% an L. All right, first things first. The tank is getting the Steadfast Shield. Whenever you play Defense card, get Heal and get this. We're going to lose the speed, but I think this is still better. Ah, 12% resistance is kind of huge, though. I mean, here's a different question. No, you never play Defense. Okay. Okay. We don't have to lock it in. We do this, we do this, right? I can only give one I can only give one item to one character, which seems tough. Free lover and cold and bell. <laughs> Thank you, suffix. Uh my queen has two defense spells. That's fair. Who else is applying regen? I think I skip on everything else. What's bottom left? It's called Serenity Ring. Uh, all resistance is 5%. For every regen charge you apply, get a thingy. It's another healer item. I got three healer items, unfortunately. What do you think? Skip, skip? Unlock, frog. Climb through the cobwebs, I accept. Ironclad. The party will heal 30%. I mean, that seems huge, actually. 
Uh, getting a free heal before the boss fight seems good. I've unlocked a much better rouge. Oh my god. Snake people. Skirmisher. Warden. Siren. Apply mark to all heroes. Well, that sucks. Bewilder. Counterspell. Back hero. Let's try and kill this back hero. So, self, self, random, front hero. Hey, what's up, Nokia or Abel? Thank you so much for the 46 months. Bzzk. Oh, yeah. All monsters experience frost. My favorite part here is just barely getting through their armor. I've done two damage. <laughs> I mean, it'd be rude not to. <laughs> Why? What are you doing? Why is it every time I cast a thing, weirder things are happening to you? Maybe it's just a coincidence. I'd like to hit you for 25. I got kissed. What is this? Silence. Unable to play spell cards. That's so rude. How could you do this to me? Punch. Anybody marked? No. I have 97 block? Pardon? So hold on. Shock and lightning. Oh, that's a wombo combo. Is it your challenge next to the round counter? This. Good. Oh, cool. Jeesh. Why is everyone taking damage? Hold on. A. I too would like to apply some zap. Let's see if I can't just kill one of these. Sorry, why why is it when I cast a spell that everyone's getting hit? I don't understand. Oh no, you dispelled. Sonar was cast. There's so many debuffs here. Okay, so I can't cast anything because they're all spells. Nobody is poisoned. Triggers AoE damage when you hit them with like three charges. 
So Sonar was on one of them? Okay. I got honorable. Awoo! Sonar. Okay. Okay. Hold on. So, Sonar. Where'd it go? Completely lost track of it. Where did Sonar go? There's so many status effects, y'all. When you... All right. Plus one damage. I don't really have any damage spells here. I do not see this effect anywhere. That one. There it is. Okay. When damaged by others. Okay. Very interesting. That's the one I was missing. I was looking here for status effects. You know what I mean? So don't hit you. Well, that's going to be kind of tough because I definitely want to hit you with a fireball. If you just die, then you stop sonaring, right? Wait, why did you not die? Oh my goodness, I'm so confused. How did they live through that? I just like, we're telling the story of a group of adventurers who are succeeding despite themselves. Going through the magical forest. And truly, friendship was the real journey all along, right? We're going to hang out. We're going to party like a rock star. It's all going to be beautiful. Winter Orb. Wow. Wow. The unknown wilds really want to kill me. Get in line. <laughs> hey, we did it. GG, everybody. Demoralizing shout. No, thank you. No, thank you. Super conductor. Super hot. Uh, this one is purple. Searing touch. Wrong one. What about you? Fire Blast. That's exciting. I'll take that. It's free and it burns itself. Vampiric Touch. Oh, I got another Detoxify. I don't know if I need any more Poison Detox, so I'm just going to skip that for now. Wait, was that not the boss fight? Was that just the pre-boss fight boss fight? Oh my god. Uh-oh. Lurking in the water. To reach the obelisk, you have to cross a pond of water. When you approach, you see something moving underneath. Suddenly, four snakes appear. It's a hydra! Each head looks like different from the rest, and you take some time to name them according to their characteristics. <laughs> I love this! I love that you're sitting there and you're like, alright, alright. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, and mo. Got it. Got it. Since it doesn't move, you can decide how to position yourselves and choose which head to stand in the way. Alright. If you don't attack immediately, the Hydra will have time to prepare itself. I would like to heal. Now nah, we fight right away. Stand in front of hatred and fight against it. The other heads seem tougher. What? Uh, I'm going to fight hatred. Hi, Snackos. Oh, you get to go first. 35 speed? What in the world? 
cool. Okay. Uh, my tank seems really bad now that they don't go first. I just want to let you know that. A four-headed Hydra. That's new. How many heads do you expect your, the Hydra to have? Out of curiosity. Five to nine, seven. Interesting. Wasn't there like a really big wow boss that had um, three heads? Wasn't that a thing? In games, it's almost always seven and sometimes nine. All right. Every turn, regen 10? What? That's so cracked. I expect Hydras to always have one more head than you expect. Okay. Uh, we didn't get many healing spells, which is kind of unfortunate. We got like the full damage draw. Submerge. Goodbye forever. Here we see the party fighting the mighty Hydra. We've got access to five mana. That's fine. I'll just AoE. Invulnerable? Oh my god. I can't even hit it when it's hiding. Wow. That's so rude. You need to get all of your healing spells. So please. Oh, interesting. The taunt is moving around. Hmm. All right. Mass dispel. Where is it? Nope. Just one dispel. Okay. You're taking a lot. You're actually not taking that much damage. So let's do this. Let's do this. And this. Get out. Get out of my swamp. All right, Shrek. Settle down over there. So the nice thing is we are getting our armor up on our tank. That's not nice. That was actually extremely rude. And I have 18 poison now. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Stop it. Ow. Wow. Uh, dispel, bleed, and heal. I don't have any... I mean, you got 7B, sure. Oh, interesting. If it's taunted, you can attack not the front row. Huh. All right. Dispel all water. Um, I got a little bit of water there. Okay. I think that was important. Winter Orb. Wow, so taunt means every single random attack also hits it. I mean, I guess it says becomes the target of all cards. So that makes sense. That is how the word all means. I mean... <laughs> Go 
Goodbye, Mr. Bond. Deal 150 damage with a single attack. Cool. We'll see if I can live through this. That's huge. Uh, detoxify. Yes, please. Next healing is Giga. Y'all, I think we got this. Like, actually. Holy moly. That was getting really low. Like, really, really low. I think I might want to remove a damage spell or two from our friend Reginald over here. Because it's starting to stress me out, you know? New turn. Arrogance. What's this? More Winter Orb? Oh, don't mind if I do. More healing rings are better since we have that armor. What does it do? You're gonna have to remind me. My brain is like, my brain is so fried. Am I glad that I picked orb? Ah, only a little. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. More glad I picked like mass dispel. It's like funny that I have foresight because I like honestly don't care what the monsters are doing most of the time. We're nine and a half hours in. Logic is not our strong suit. Yeah. I'm flattered. That you think I'm still here. You winning, son? I don't even know. You dare hide from me, coward? Invulnerable. Really? Oh. Been up since 2 a.m. I, I hope you can fix your sleep schedule, Max. As one person who suffered from insomnia to another, I do not envy you. I kind of wish Joe was here. I, I think she's gone to the store to maybe grab some food or something. But I want to order pizza. But I don't want to order pizza if I don't know where she is and what her plan is. You know what I mean? Man, it's bless. Auto end? I don't need this game to go any faster. Hey, what's up, Ander Christ? How you doing? Welcome on in. Got a cozy stream. Appreciate you stopping by. How you doing? All right, how are we looking here? Is this looking lethal? Oh. Wait, I hit the wrong button. Nice. All right, let's do this. I am the winner. I am the winner. So they are going to die to fire, right? Wait, no. At the start of the turn... I would really like to get another heal. I'm going to try and greed here. Nice. There you go. Kill Scorn. Block bouncing shield. So this is actually kind of huge now. Purge my block. Never mind. Electrocute. Wow. Wow. The Grimmery of Fire. Another Ray of Frost. That's kind of exciting. Visibility. Grimmery of Flames. 
Darkness falls. Sheesh. I think I skip everything here. You open the golden chest. Wait, hold on. After a hard fight, you defeat the four heads of the Hydra. Now that you can advance, you discover a large golden chest behind one of the columns. Ah, how convenient. Goodness. All right, Titan Gauntlets. You become immune to disarm. Every turn gain more powerful. I mean, that seems like it may be kind of sick on uh, one of our mages. Flaming Sword. I think the Burning Orb is better. Glorious Egg. Plus one to regeneration charges. All heroes gain. Oh my god. What? Wow. So, maybe over here? I think we get rid of... I think we finally get rid of the combat bandages. What do you think? Combos with the cover. Whenever you apply regeneration, a random hero gains bonus HP. Holy moly. Yes. Goodness. Every time you apply wet, apply poison. No, thank you. The flaming sword. I think the burning orb is better than the flaming sword. But what I could maybe do is right here is maybe instead of plus one speed, I give them 30 HP and they get... Uh, they just do more damage. That seems kind of strong, you know? So keep in mind, I can only put one item on one person, which is a little bit tough, so... You know, I think an upgraded sword's not bad. The Wolf Slayer can become the Continuum Blade. All damage plus two, and twice per turn, whenever you play a melee attack, draw a card. I think that is stronger. And then finally, I need to find an item for you. When you heal a hero, apply water. Nope. Uh, you can't see it. This is the the other card back here. Is the Storm Tiara. I mean, I do some spark damage, right? Might be better than Family Jewels. You like the Tiara better? I think Tiara is better than Family Jewels, so... It's like half of Family Jewels, except it resists everything, and we do have a little bit of lightning damage, so. I'm going to go to the dusty area here. I don't want to go to the fire or the water. I'm going to go to yellow, which is neutral. <laughs> All right, we have another town to go to. My God. All right, let's see if we can't get more pets for everybody. Oh God, what have I done? I don't want a divination. Wow. Hello? Rifty seems amazing. Oh my god, Rifty seems so good for Amelia. Rifty loves psychic damage and ice damage, and so does Amelia. What about page three? Old Scaraby. All resistances increases the chance of a scarab spawning in the axe by 40%. That's it, eh? Rifty is the queen starting pet. Alright, remove the curse. You're no longer poisoned. Congratulations. Town upgrades? Settle down, chat. I'm very tired. <laughs> 
We'll get there. Oh. All right. I need to remove. Um, I need to remove some cards here. I think I'm going to remove Holy Smite. I don't think I need both the Holy Smites anymore. I believe Reginald is now just strong enough. Maybe not. Maybe it's Golden Chalice. Trying to remember where we got all those stacks from. How far did this game go? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. We've been playing this for a very long time now. I kind of wonder if I would just want to save this and move on. We've been playing this so long. <laughs> so apparently we are not even at the halfway point. It's four and a half acts and we just started act three. Are y'all down if I say save and move on? Because this is starting to get complex enough that my poor brain. Yeah, y'all are down with it? Thank you. <laughs> it's a good run. But holy moly. Your current progress will be saved. I love this game, but save it for when you're awake. I mean, I do got to give a shout out. I believe it was Wuga Chaka who sent me the first time we did Roguelike Roulette, this game and all of the DLC. So like, we have so much of this to check out, which is kind of amazing. So yeah, I think I'm kind of at the point now where I have enough unlocks that the next time we do stuff, I'm going to be strong. All right, hold on. Can I? There it is. We've reset it. All righty. Hey, Gunner, are you still around? Nibbles, you still around? We got a bunch of subs. We got a bunch of, of donos. Uh, Gunner, you've got six points in any game. What would you like to see? Nibbles, if you're around, you've got eight points. Not Kane nor Abel, Dappy Gosling. Bring back across the obelisk, I swear to God, Gunner. <laughs> Gunner, I will find you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Technically, I never died, so it's not off the list. Well, we remove it when we start, but God, a gunner no emote. I mean, hold on. Can't bring it back after the spin. Uh-oh, I'm worried that Gunner maybe wasn't kidding, and now I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm going to just spin this wheel pretty quick here. Gunner's not kidding? Uh. <laughs> Oh, all right. Okay. All right, everybody. We're going to spin the wheel in three. Two, one, ring, 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 yes, thank you, oh, thank you, birthday gods, oh, my beloved, my beloved is back, 
<laughs> Welcome back, bro Tato. Bro Tato shouldn't be allowed off the wheel. We could just leave it. You know what? Hold on. Birthday boys privileges. I'll always reset it, but it goes back to one. All right. There you go. Birthday boys privilege. <laughs> birthday was yesterday. It's my birthday week extravaganza suffix. Okay. You know what? We're going to play Ethereal. The ghost of Brotato's past. Love me a good ghost run. Spooky ghosts. Suffix trying to come into my channel. Tell me it's not my birthday. On this, the week of my birthday. Really like Hedgehog on the Ghost. Ooh, good start. Twelve days of Surge Smiths. As always, friends, how is the volume? How is the game display? Switching between a lot of games. You know how how it is. You know. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Take a bit of attack speed. Oh my god. I'll buy these two. We'll get the hedgehog eventually. Everything's looking good. Wow. How you doing, chat? You missed the whole start of Rotato. We chose the spooky ghost. How you doing? How's your day? How's your week? I've really been appreciating all of the good vibes during the whole subathon so far. I've streamed more in the past two days than I do some weeks. <laughs> I'm just going to take some bonus health just in case. Oh, there we go. Ooh, discount card. We got ourselves a run. Back to a game I can understand. <laughs> Love it, Mama Tats. Yeah, I cannot believe how many systems they put in. Like, why does Across the Obelisk have a resistance system? Again, it's cool that it has it all, but like, it's so much. am I doing? Do I need to have a little stretch break? Maybe. I need to find out where Joe went. And then I need to decide if I'm ordering pizza or not. But there's a good chance that she went to like the grocery store or something. So, I don't know. I'm kind of on team. If your dishwasher is broken, you don't have to cook. And she's kind of on team. I'm going to cook. And I was like, oh, but that's so much more work. I think she's out to pick up pizza. I mean, she could be, but I doubt it. I think she went to the grocery store. A lot of ingredients in that across the obelisk soup. Yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a practical jambalaya of deck builder mechanics, you know? <laughs> Take a little bit of speed. Most important stat in the genre. Take a little bit of claw. Most important stat in the genre. Grocery stores have pizza. Mm, that's fair. Oh my god. So there is a... Oh, maybe I'll get standard pizza tonight. There is a really, really good, like, thin crust pizza place called Standard Pizza in downtown Victoria. And they've got a pizza that has a bacon and a fried egg on it. And oh my god, it's so good. It's so salty. It's called the bacon pizza, even though the the, char the defining characteristic of that pizza is the fried egg. 
Can I get this loot? Goblin. Go, oh, I can. Let's go. <gasps> Monkey. Monkey is free sustain. Lifesteal is sustain. Coffee is sustain. Never had fried egg on a pizza before. Now you kind of want it. My own, the only downside with standard is it doesn't deliver. And I'm not going anywhere for another... I can't see the time. How long have I been live for? <laughs> another two hours? Man. I feel like I'm getting my third wind, by the way, if you're if you're at all curious. I think the Brotato is refreshing me. I think across the obelisk was just too smart for me. You get the anchovy and olive? Man. So my two favorites from standard pizza, one is, of course, the bacon pizza we're talking about. The other is their spicy Hawaiian. They got a Hawaiian pizza with banana peppers on it, and ooh-wee! Am I a fan of that? More crit, more range. I'll grab this patty in for later on as a treat. Mr. Mix is a Hawaiian fan. You'll have to give it a try. Banana peppers? It's so funny. When I was younger, I always used to be like, oh no, banana peppers, they're spicy. And now I'm like, oh, banana peppers, they're sweet. And I don't know if I just got braver or if I like did permanent damage to my tongue. <laughs> Last time I went to Prima Strata, they didn't have an egg as an option, but I have hopes for the future. Oh man, I haven't been to Prima Strata in ages. I used to love, they had this like very industrial location down in um, Bridge Street. That felt amazing. That felt amazing, it's maybe the wrong word. They just had like this amazing vibe. And they closed it for probably very smart business reasons. All right, wave nine stands. And I haven't really been to Prima Strata since they closed that location because like Cook Street and Oak Bay are just too busy. And then if I ever want the same pizza, I just go to um, standard downtown, you know? That's their test kitchen? It is. Yeah, and they use it for, like, making massive wheels of Parmigiano Reggiano. But still, I'm sad. After this run, I might just have to give Joe a call because I am getting hungry. But I don't want to... If she's got a plan, I don't want to, like, you know, mess with her plan. Do I have Undertale or Baldur's Gate 3? Uh, I have Baldur's Gate 3. I do not have Undertale. Landmines? That, that ain't me. I need to get a little bit more of the old luck going here. How are we doing? We got Wave of 12 and two big ones coming later on. I'll do this. So far, our scaling is going pretty well here. Ah, oh, I could take a piggy bank. Pardon me. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to text her. After this, after this wave, when we're in the shop, I'll text her. Speaking of roguelikes, yo, that Streets of Rogue trailer was kind of funny. I don't know if that's a Surge game. It might be a really funny, like, Loading Ready Run CTS game or something. I think it might be a little, I don't know if it, how Surge safe that particular one is. I need to get some more attack speed. We're starting to get a little bit overwhelmed here. Streets of Rogue seemed very ambitious. Streets of Rogue 2, it seemed like wildly ambitious. Attack speed. It's 
speed is kind of like attack speed. Ooh, Pierce. Wait, I only have 58% dodge. There we go. Nice. 63% dodge. Oh, I don't have to text Joe. She just got home. Give me a second. She brought home dinner. It's like she knew. I was talking to chat about how hungry I am, Joe. And I was thinking about calling you or ordering pizza. And she's like, I brought home dinner. Oh my God. Apparently somebody ordered pizza to our building too. And it's just sitting outside the front door getting cold. We could just take that pizza. <laughs> but no, Joe went and got us stuff. Man, this is what, this is what I'm telling you. 15 years, synergy, being on the same page. She's amazing. Oh, Joe is such a sweetie. She said she actually brought the pizza inside because it was getting rained on. That's so sad. Imagine ordering pizza and then forgetting you ordered pizza. Can we do an alternate version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles where they actually kind of like Popeye, they get stronger when they eat pizza? Is that how the lore worked? I actually don't know. All right, get a little bit more dodge. <coughs> Attack speed and range is fine. Ah, uh, I don't lose my other life steal. She let in random pizza off the street. That's how big her heart is. You wish you had the compassion that Joe had. Better inside than feeding the rats, she says. <laughs> what do you want? This is how you get trash pandas. All right, chat. Do you want trash pandas? Nobody wants trash pandas. Don't feed the wildlife. You want trash pandas, but you're Australian? All right. You can be forgiven for not knowing any better. <laughs> Lost damage. Pizza followed Joe home. Does it mean we can adopt it? Oh, I didn't think of that. Are trash pandas anything like bin chickens? No, they're vicious. They're night predators. Also known as the Western shuffle cat. They'll mess you up. Taking damage. I'd like to not take damage. Oh, I am losing half of my health. Need to max out my dodge if I can. You really want me to take this medallion? It is all of the stats. All right. Hey, that's dodge. And that's all of my life win. Leech. Ooh, that's good. All right, next level we get to fight an elite. This level we just get to kind of clean up and get stronger. Having 123 max HP on this floor is very good, by the way. Very good.
Oh, the bin chicken. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've watched a pearlescent moon video. That's the sort of like the weird stork looking uh, white and black long neck bird, right? Am I am I remembering that correctly? The Australian thing, right? Yeah. Hey, I picked up on that. It only took a lot of... Uh, you had to kind of lead me by the nose to get there, but I got there. All right, I either need attack speed or dodge. Uh, or a pocket factory? Sure. All right, I'll take speed, fine. We'll take crit. Oh, I didn't buy the dodge. Okay, that's okay, we're not gonna die here. It's illegal for me to die, it's my birth. Oh, I just took 43 damage. This thing can three tap me? That's extremely rude. Please die. Okay. Huge. Actually huge. Oh my god. Okay. We got we got dinner time. Potato. It's true. Lure is huge. Oh, 12% dodge is so huge. Sunglasses, huge. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pause right here. We're going to go to the booth. And we're going to have dinner. Hi. Oh, we're going to take a little bit of a meal break here. Because my brain. Look at this. Joe brought me. A quesadilla. Look at this delicious looking beefy quesadilla. Oh my God. Isn't she amazing? Give me one sec. Hello friends, welcome to dinner time with me, your host, Serge. Today has been another absolutely wild day. We are 10 hours into the day, and this is only one hour lower than, <laughs> lower than when we started. <laughs> oh, I love you all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. An entire case of Diaz, I know. So this is a place in town called um, Boomtown. It's one of my favorite restaurants. It's absolutely delicious. I don't often get to the quesadilla, but anytime I don't and somebody at the table does, I look at it and I think to myself, why didn't I get the quesadilla? And then she got me one, which is very sweet. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You had a friend who actually said Casitola out loud? Amazing. I've only ever heard that as a joke. Of like the, you know, you die inside. I'll have a Casitola and a Fajita. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. This is legitimately one of my favorite things to eat in the entire city. This is the best birthday week is Trevacons at dinner. Joe could have brought me. I'm so happy. I think a close second would have been like pulled pork poutine or something. But that's a lot to eat by yourself, you know? I also have to maybe save up for poutine with James, right? You can't have too much poutine. I also suffix poutine. 
Oh my god. Suffix, I don't have lunch plans tomorrow. You want to have poutine? Are you working tomorrow, Suffix? Birthday poutine? We could do this. Max, if you're awake, you could join. We could have so much poutine. No! Suffix is working. What if he just simply didn't go? All right, Max and I are going anyways. You're dead to me, Suffix. <laughs> Who's on the way? Love it. Wait, what do you mean your boss wouldn't be too upset if you didn't show? Then let's do it. Yeah. I don't know, chat. What do you think? Should Suffolk skip out on work to have poutine? Oh, you are the boss. It's a victimless crime. There are no consequences. Look, Suffix, chat says you should do it. <clears throat> hey, Gunner, do you got like a good do it image? To motivate uh, Suffix to come for poutine tomorrow? Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams, you know? <clears throat> if you did everything that chat told you to do, yeah, you'd be eating delicious poutine. It's win-win. <laughs> you always think of Palpatine with the do it? I don't actually remember a lot of what Palpatine had to say. <clears throat> how do you, how would you two feel about 1130? 1130 for poutine. Cause that way we can dodge a lunch rush that are like one o'clock. Are you more of an 11.30 or 1 p.m. lunch kind of person? Max is in. Oh, I love this. I get to have birthday poutine. Yay. You're more of a breakfast at noon kind of person? I have breakfast at 6 a.m., which means I am starving by 11. I don't keep this gazelle-like figure by letting more than six hours go between meals, chat. Gazelle, yes, you can't see me out on the savannah, out running lions. <laughs> Is gazelle a figure to aspire to? I don't know. They're pretty majestic, aren't they graceful? You can't call yourself a gazelle unless you know how to pronounce a chacha, right? A gazelle doesn't know what a chacha is, Max. That seems unfair. Apples and oranges. A chacha is an oranges. <laughs> 
the continual anxiety of being eaten or not seems not ideal. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I think it's less mental damage than opening Twitter to these days. <laughs> like, <laughs> How much psychic damage am I taking every time I look at my phone? That or there could be a line behind any bush, you know? <laughs> Oh, I don't think I've ever eaten this this quickly before. I just absolutely destroyed this quesadilla. Sorry, sweetie, what was that? Oh my God, Joe said she had two bites. Wait, hold on. I'll be right back. Y'all, Joe is so sweet. I told her I was almost done, and she's like, if you're still hungry, you can have a bite of mine. Like, who is Joe? How am I so lucky? Joe can't possibly be real, you know? All right. Anyways, dinner has been defeated. Game on! High rolled on Joe. I really did. Like, <laughs> it's... I, what would I do without Joe? Uh, have I finally found out that Joe isn't real? Oh my god. Everyone's just been too polite to tell you you've just been imagined Joe this whole time. Joe isn't real, Surge. Think about it for like half a second. Think about it logically. Oh my god, you're so zoomy. Look at this little loot goblin go. Oh my, come back. I want your stuff. <laughs> Ooh, sure. No. Eh, no. Ooh, crit chance. 53% crit chance. Well, my weapons have been uh, kind of medium. Wow. My weapons are getting a lot better here. I'll take it. Surge accidentally revealing that Joe is actually Faye. <laughs> if Joe isn't real, <laughs> whose channel is this? <laughs> <laughs> wow, even Snurge is talking about Joe right now. So <laughs> Holy moly, Snurge. Ugh. The moments when Snurge is like talking, like adding discourse to the conversation is very funny. <laughs> Do I need an octopus? It's kind of big. Sure. All right, we're going to fight another elite here. It's this one. I think this one's an okay matchup. I'd say we're like 80-20 to win this one. 
the 20% is not that we die. It's that, that we run away unless I play really poorly. So phase one of this, it shoots beams. Phase two of this, it runs away and then starts spawning like a giga enemies. There we go. Got it. You're excited for four-person couch co-op of Rotato? Heck yeah. Cotato? Couch-tato? We could all be couch potatoes. Jorb Surge Couch Tato crossover. I'm gonna try and make that happen. I don't have a couch in this room though. I wanted to host him for us to play Bro Tato together. You're basically watching some Pro Tato right now. <laughs> I'm medium plus, not quite pro Tato. I'm more of a uh, aficionado Tato, aficioned Tato. No, potato shinato. Ah, <laughs> huh? there it is. Nailed it. I'd like to not lose money every floor. Repost tree monkey. What do you think? Should we go infinite? Why not? <clears throat> Why not? I don't feel particularly strong right now. The only item that's good that we have is we have one bandana. We don't have any bonus to mobs. We don't really have any of the good scaling, but whatever. Here we are. Wow, like our damage is really bad. It took us 25 seconds to kill one of the bosses. One of our weapons is still light. I think it's the one thing going for us is we do have three paddings already, which is kind of what you want for Endless. The secret for Endless is you want as many extra mobs and as many paddings as possible. Okay, well that makes an Endless run better. Diploma's very meh. <clears throat> Never mind, we're Endless. <laughs> we're Endless! It's gonna upgrade all of my weapons. Let's go. It's like less good on this character because you don't really care about armor, but you know, not taking double damage is also kind of good. <clears throat> I think the biggest problem is I only have 100 luck. Luck, crit, attack speed. That's what we really need. Luck, crit, attack speed. Probably the order of attack speed and then luck and then crit. Potatoes all the way down. Always has been. Clocks potato. Do I want this turret? Um. <clears throat> sure. Oh. There's the attack speed. Take damage. Sure. Oh, I can't afford you? 
How do I make that little money? Plus range or minus range good for melee? So obviously plus range is good because you hit them further away. Um, what range does on melee is the higher your range is, the lower your attack speed. But negative, on some weapons, it's actually really weird. On some weapons, um, depending where you hit, you can actually have like negative knockback, which is bad. So I don't know. In theory, like negative range is good on melee. In practice, range is good. Range also gives you cleave. Like on the ax, for example, uh, you get more AOE with a bit more range. One of the potatoes more handsome than the other. A little bit more easy on the eyes. Mm. I'd have to look at all the potatoes. We could look at all the potatoes. Afterwards. Rank them on the perceived attractiveness. That is luck. I do like luck. Do I want to spend 282 gold for 20 luck, though? No. Plus, luck is always good in God of Weapons. It's more complicated here. Yeah. Negative range is good, so you can use it as a dump staff. Again, I think that's kind of trick is kind of risky because like there's a point where, depending on the weapon you're using, you're like, oh, this is actually bad. <laughs> like you want to be able to hit elites, for example, with a little bit of room to dodge and, and do the dance, like the the ones that charge you. If anything, if I like again, not necessarily as a as a dumb stat, but I like keeping them at about zero. The problem is I also have ranged, right? And I've got pierce on my ranged right now, so we want a bit of a hybrid here. Take that. Don't need that. There's the luck. Excellent rotato question, though. Let me know if you have any others. Yeah, that uh, quesadilla, by the way, I'm fully in my third, my third wind right now for the final stretch. Feels good. A bit more attacks, people will do this. Good job, buddy. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you for the quesadilla of healing. Need more enemies, need more attack speed. Rotato question If you use a flamethrower too much, do you become a baked potato? Excellent question. Next question. <laughs> baked patat. Hmm. <clears throat> the flamethrower is good. I think if you use the flamethrower too much, you actually just become a wizard. Hey, what up, Jay Crane? Thank you so much for six months, friend. Hope you're having a great day. Appreciate you. Please let me know when we return to the wheel if there's a game you'd like to vote for. Ooh, ooh I'm dying. Elite. I'm gonna die to this elite. <clears throat> this is why my attack speed needs to get higher. Sheesh. Okay, there's more attack speed.
There's like one of two items that we're really looking for here. Uh, one is the comfy hoodie. <clears throat> this is attack speed equal to our dodge. So then we're like absolutely cooking there. Or the other one is, I can't remember what it's called. It's an item that gives you attack speed bonus equal to the number of enemies on the screen. Also huge. If we don't get one of exactly those two, we're in a little bit of trouble. If we don't get one of those by like floor 30, we're just dead. <laughs> I mean, the other option is maybe we get a champ spelt by then, and that helps us a little bit, but we really need a... Uh... <clears throat> Subtimer's getting low. Oh, you mean it's only down to four hours? <laughs> Alright, our crit's up to 69. Nice. So we got like 15% bonus crit there and 20% bonus attack speed. So like that's not nothing. The sub timer has gone down a full hour in the last 10 hours. It's true. I think I've done a pretty good job of not being a tired cranky <laughs> or B um, just like completely out of it so far. Day two, we'll see how we keep going, but you know, the test of endurance has been, has been respectable, you know? Theoretically, starting to stream with 20 minutes left on the clock and then stopping the worst or the best because then you get the rest of the day off. That's a very good question, Max. I don't know. Oh my god, another bandana. I'll take double pierce. Watch me. <clears throat> oh my god, we have double of this elite? Okay. Oh my god, I got hit once for 300. Run away. Run away. Try and life steal up a little bit here. No, no! <laughs> well, GG. We still won. We got to wave 28. The win is technically at wave 20. But yeah, the lack of uh, the lack of attack speed. We only had an attack speed of 117%. We win! Alright, who's the cutest potato? Hi, sweetie. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Very important question. Yeah. Of these potatoes, which is the cutest? I thought you were going to make me choose a potato. I'm going to make you choose a potato. I was going to say the pre cute potato. But the cutest one is probably the crown with the mustache. The one with the mustache? This one? No, the crown with the mustache. Oh, this, this one. Guy. Joe says that is. All right. Joe has spoken. This is the cutest potato. Is this a capped subathon? It is, Chrono. 60 hours. <clears throat> Your vote is the cryptid? You like the little bird one? That's a very fine mustache, though. I like the one with the hat left, too. This one? I don't know why. This one has big suffix energy to me. Like I looked at I look at this one and I actually think it's suffix. Oh, maybe it's because of a stupid Minecraft diorite face. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are the six behind me? They're definitely not cute. Uh, you've got the glutton, you've got the lich. These are not cute. You've got the gladiator. We didn't I mean Farmer's kind of cute. But yeah, that is absolutely suffix. You know? You see it now? Yeah. You think the mad scientist is kind of cute. Which one is the mad scientist? <clears throat> Wait. 
Wait, so why is the king cute, but not the knight? I guess the eyes. The eyes do a lot. Middle, fourth from the right. Oh, that one. The artificer. That's just Ian. This one is Ian. That one's my buddy, Scott. I will not explain any of this. You don't know who Scott is. That's okay. <clears throat> You're thinking of that guy, eh? Yeah. I mean, also, this was Ian before he shaved his head. <laughs> Ian before he shaved his head. Ian after he shaved his head. <laughs> Which one is me? This is me. I just turned 39 years old. I play video games for a living. Okay, Grandpa. Go to bed. You're not 39? I am 39. Yeah. <clears throat> am I so into potato that I can only experience my world through potatoes? Wow. I couldn't even English a word of that. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. So everything scooted over again. I feel like every stream, I have to pick up this mat and scoot it. I don't understand. Did you know that Wiggins is only 29? Incredible. Anyways, goodbye, bro Tato. I loved you. Jay Crane, you still around? Would you like to put a point onto the wheel of games? Would anybody else like to put points onto the wheel of games? I'm so happy we got bro Tato. How? Well, Jay Crane, you subbed. One sub gets you one point. So you just get to tell me the name of a game on this list, and I will add a point to it. Is Hollow Cure up there? No. No, I don't want a Hollow Cure. Too, too anime. Way too anime. And yeah, we did win. We just won on, on um, Brotato. That feels good. Hmm. <clears throat> What would you have voted for, Atarka? I'm curious. Have you tried Soulstone Survivors? Yes. Not since apparently the community got mad. Like real mad. Just me falling out of mine shaft. Okay. All right. Jay Crane putting a point into Vampire Survivors. All right, friends. It's time to spin. That wheel ring 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 dead cells. Wow. It's been a long time since I've played dead cells. At last, my vote mattered. <laughs> Can I move my point to Hollow Cure? To anime. No Hollow Cure chat. That game is so much. Wait, I didn't even install Dead Cells. All right, everybody, please hold. Please hold. Do I have the Castlevania DLC? I do not. Ilian was really into speedrunning this game for a while. Ilian raided me yesterday. Big fan. <clears throat> Ilian's really good at uh, video games. Apparently, Airborne Kingdom got like a huge DLC or something. Yeah. 
How many subs to add Hollow Cure to the wheel? Oh no, chat. Who started with the Hollow Cure? I don't want to say no to anything. You'll never not see dead eels as the logo. Delightful. Five subs will put the game on the list. It is free. I don't have a good reason not to say it. It's not not surge safe. It's just really anime. What's new in Dead Cells? Oh, man. Uh, continue normal mode. All right. How do I play this game again? <laughs> Atarka. Yes, Atarka. Uh, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Restart. Apparently, I stopped in the middle of a run. No, no, no. So, Atarka, sorry, that, those five points were for Brotato, right? This is how far I got in this game, by the way, which is not very far. All right. Uh, sure. I will try bow. Bow and shield. Sure. Oh, my God. What do you mean out of ammo? How do I reload? What do you mean out of ammo? Wait, why did I get ammo back? Oh, I have to go back and pick my own ammo up off the floor? All the ammo is in this enemy. How do I kill it? <laughs> okay, I'm going to do another run here. Give me a second here. All right, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let's pick. Let's pick a weapon. If I die in the first thirty seconds, we'll take a mulligan. All right. Goodbye. I hate you. <laughs> and you can like smash down or something. It's like if you're going down, you hit space bar. Yeah. There we go. Now we're smashing.
How do you do this again? There we go. A mushroom, mushroom. This is new. What are you? Uh, did I just fight a mini boss? Panchachu. Inflict a critical hit if the enemy is facing you. Chest. Grenade. Inflicts damage. Whatever. Goodbye. <laughs> One HP in a dream, Twitch chat. small bug in this jar. Something feels off, as if the bug was a potent weapon of sorts. Oh, probably nothing. Somehow I'm still alive. What is this? One-way door. What's this? Pay. Right. You can not pay. You can smash, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> In terms of games I enjoy watching, this is kind of up there. I'm realizing, yeah, this game is great to watch. The Promenade. Been dead for a while now. You know what? We made it. We made it somehow. Wait, I have a health flask? How do I heal? Sure do. What button is heal? Oh my god. Nobody wanted to say nothing? Wow.
We ain't no backseaters. No, you know what? I, I respect that. I respect that. You never played this game. <laughs> uh, uh, man, this game's so good. Fifty damage? Ruby key. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Beware the groove. Bottom. What are you? Golden amulet. Take it. Prisoner's collar. I don't know if I've parried once. Tried. down. Infantry grenade. Uh, seems better than the other infantry grenade. Wait. They are literally the exact same. Hey, what's up? Oh my goodness. How you doing, Stella Michelle? I feel like it has been a little bit. How are you? Are you chilling? Are you partying like a rock star? Welcome to my birthday week extravaganza. We're doing my first ever subathon here on the channel. I'm very tired. <laughs> but welcome. How are you? Happy birthday, but the party don't stop till I walk in. Let's go. So we're doing a little something called roguelike roguelike. <clears throat> where every time we, we play a game and we die, we actually have to restart the game. So, uh, we've been playing so many different games. And now we're playing Dead Cells. And we'll probably be playing this for another like five minutes at this rate. Just scratch at the wall, man. Oh, cool. Uh, thank you for the 100 biddies, Stellar Michelle. It's good to see you. Um, Akuri Akage, thank you for the fitty. <laughs> I did such a great job on your name there. So many different games, half of which were across the obelisk, yeah. Just call you Akka? Oh my god, don't mind if I do. Hello, shop. Man, you ever do such a bad job that somebody just gives up? <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. Hope you're doing well. Tell me everything. How have you been? Eh. Replace the trap. Surge, please don't describe my life like that. That's fair.
I almost parried. I almost blocked. <clears throat> uh oh. Trying so hard to block ever. It's just not happening. How's my birthday been so far? It's been kind of amazing, to be honest. I mean, streaming for 20 hours, I don't think was necessarily always part of the plan, but here we are. Prison Depths, no. Blocking is boring, live free. Thank you, Funko. Thank you for the blessing. Broadsword or Sapphire Key? This one is required for heartbreaking decision. I don't know what that means. Is Broadsword better than Hammer? Oops. 1% of HP recovered per attack. Yes. Cannot be interrupted. Oh, yes, love it. I have sustain. Can I not jump in this room? Hey, look who's blocking. There's more text after the life leech. Look, I don't have time to read chat. Look, I'm sustaining. I have no idea what all these little kills above my head mean either. Look, I'm more of just a vibes-based kind of player, all right? <clears throat> and the vibes of this sword were immaculate. Yes, suffix? Wait, I see a rose up top. Don't I already have a rose? Oh my god. I have two gardener's keys. How many gardeners are there? How many keys do I need? Uh, my, my plan is to collect them all. Yeah, let's go. Oh, buckets. Hello? Look at this! Healing. Hey, Nevermore, what's up? Thank you for the 45, friend. Corgo Island, thank you for the 37 as well. What's up, everybody? I hope you have an amazing day. I really appreciate it. 38% max HP. <clears throat> How much am I healing every time I kill an enemy? It's like 1%, which means it should be 10. Close to that half year. Thank you so much, Nevermore. There are three rose keys. Nice. Uh, activate? What are you? Why are you so zoomy? they got away. Is that a Risk of Rain reference? It kind of looked like it. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> There's also that shrine in Risk of Rain that does literally that, right?
Come on. Got him. I can't believe people are trying to tell me the sword is bad. Look at this. Unstoppable. Sustain. I've only missed two Slay the Spire references so far. Hey. Frying pan. Ah, uh, no thank you. Or the Slay the Spire references. The Sapphire and Ruby Keys? Oh. Ow. Bad. No hit surge. Don't go. Adam's Prime, what's up? Thank you for the 61, friend. Here to be dying? That's impossible. Statue of the King. Is it literally a Slay the Spire weapon? Which one is it? <clears throat> I believe I want to go this way. It's been a while, though. The ossuary. You unlock it later? Yeah, I have like none unlocks in this game. Wow, that was a long way down. Eight minutes, 60 kills. I got neither, brutal. Well, well, well. So that guy cards that changes your type. Oh, interesting. Reforge. I don't know why people kept saying stuff. 1% of HP recovered per attack in close combat. Seems good. Well, well, well. Look who it is. If it isn't your old friend, me. Wait. Recover max health after killing an enemy? Uh, hello? Incredible. If you ignore it, it can't hurt you. Agreed. Pile of corpses. Funny, they look an awful lot like me. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. 100% damage taken seems bad. Only if you take damage. See, the secret here is just simply never take damage. Hey, uh, I forgot the other part of the social engagement when you get raided, which is you're supposed to go follow Stellar Michelle. I don't know if you remember this, but a while ago, I got invited to do like a really cool collab over on Michelle's channel. We played Minecraft together. We laughed. We cried. Ow! It was awesome. Another great Canadian creator. Apparently, if I hit the enemy... What are you? Apparently, if I hit the enemy that is covered in spikes when the spikes are facing me, it's bad for me. Weird. Ow! Why do you hit so hard? Ow! Uh, I don't remember this level. I don't remember the weird level full of death and spiky spikes. Uh, something has clearly gone wrong. I thought I was supposed to be fighting like a big dude on a bridge at this point.
Could have been if I went up instead of down. How could I possibly know that? All right, so I'm going to go up then. Got it. What are you? Is that good? Nope. No, I dodged that. Oh my God, I have two HP. All right, I got the key fragment. Good. Downward smash, punch ground. Uh, that was so spooky. Why was that so spooky? about the rune use the rune what does that mean uh what does this do ha 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 you've stumbled through a rift eh they're canadian they must be friendly bet you'd like these little beauties with you wouldn't you Well, if you decide to take them, getting out won't be anything like getting in. Good luck. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. What a friendly guy. Wow, look at all this good stuff. All right, I got this. Take the 38%. No, I'll take this one. And I got a new recipe for the crow's foot. And... Damage from projectiles is reduced by 75%. Oh, God. It, why is it falling? Oh. Mr. Wheeler. Hi. Oh, jeez. Wheeler? No. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Uh... Oh, God. Uh... Anyways, hello. <laughs> what a time to raid. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm very good at video games. <laughs> I blame Wheeler for this death. I was completely in control and that happened. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome on in. How you doing? Happy birthday to me. Uh, what we're doing is we're doing my first ever birthday subathon and we're playing roguelike roguelike where if I die, like if Wheeler shows up and kills us, the game dies just like this. And then we look upon this amazing wheel. This amazing wheel of other games that we could play. Ooh. And then we spin the wheel. Uh, but we're also doing a subathon. So I have been live for uh, 11 hours. <sighs> and we got time for probably one more game. One more spin of the wheel. Uh, but first of all, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. I'm really tired. <laughs> But I'm having so much fun. This has been an absolute delight. Uh, shout out to Wheeler. Honestly, one of my favorite people. I really appreciate it. Oh, right. I have to add a hollow cure to this. Oh, my God. Yep. And we spell it like this, right? Okay. Hollow cure has been added to the list. Oh, 
You look a little old to be having my first ever birthday. You'd think that, but I'm an old soul. It was worth the gift subs. Thank you, Atarka. Yeah, I just got bullied really hard into adding an anime game. But the good news is the chance of selecting Hollow Roll, Hollow Cure, is only 0.8%. Wait, I vote for Cobalt Cure? So, you, Cobalt Core, you haven't actually voted, Nibbles. You have eight votes to your name that you haven't used, by the way. Suffix with the five ball. What are you doing, Suffix? Where do you want your five votes, bud? All onto Hollow Cure. Oh, Lord. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <sighs> Nibbles, where do you want your eight votes, friend? <laughs> do I have votes? If you have subbed or resubbed or gifted subs or cheered, you got votes. All right. Thank God. Nibbles. Nibbles doesn't hate me. Nibbles wants eight votes on uh, Cobalt Core. So, yes, that goes up to 20. It's really, I was worried for a second. <laughs> hey, going Mog. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What are we doing here? <laughs> can we take away votes? No, we can't. <laughs> One more vote for Hollow Cure. All you can do is vote against it. Because we don't want feel bads. It's a yes and. It's up to 5% now. Oh, no. Is this Serge's birthday? It is. This is my birthday week extravaganza. Oh, no. <laughs> Three and four fifths, a thousand biddies to Holocure. Uh-huh. Thank you for the biddies, three and four fifths. <laughs> Happy 29th birthday. Thank you. I definitely don't look a day past 21. I know. Can I also have one more vote because it's your birthday? Sure. We're going to take that down to eight. No, I'm just joking. There you go, Atarka. Never say, never say I don't do anything for you, Atarka. <laughs> All right. This is probably going to be the last game of the day. Are you ready to spin that wheel? Three, two, one. Ring, 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 Hello, Slay the Spire. I hear you have a sequel on the way. I can't believe it hit Hollow Cure. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. I don't actually know which character to play. Which character should we play, chat? Who's your favorite? Unga Bunga. Always a bit of a silent stan. Silent defect. Who's the blue one? That's the defect. Uh, what's going on here? Why are you so small? Why? Do I have to restart? I don't understand. You love orbs? I mean, fair. Slay the Spire never really grabbed you. This is one of the all-time bests. <clears throat> this has revolutionized card games. It is so big. Let's get that banger music going. Silent it is, my friends. Silent it is. It's a hexaghost act. I 
I'm not necessarily forced into elite, but I really don't want to go that way. So, so we can see if we can get a little bit stronger. <clears throat> it's got to be a heart run. Oh, absolutely. 100%. I feel like Slay the Spire has been eclipsed by its successors. Which ones? I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of games that are Spire likes, but kind of learned the wrong lessons about it and didn't really do anything interesting. Three elite on uh, Ascension 20. I could take I could take potions and that probably makes us strong enough to take three elites on the outside with a shop at the end. Or we could roll for this random relic and see where we end up going somewhere else. What are rare relics though? Gamba? Sure. Bird faced urn. Interesting. That is a good one. All right. So can I? Jeez. I think maybe here. Let's see what happens. People have sunk thousands of hours into this game and are still learning. Yeah. I mean, Jorbs has only got 9,000 hours in this game. <laughs> you know? I think Griftlands is a game that's definitely inspired by Slay the Spire, but went a bit for a different approach, heavy RPG elements. So my issue with Griftlands is because it's so narrative, it doesn't feel as good to replay. Ooh, we. We could take Catalyst with no poison. This is actually not very good. I think it's got to be Heal Hook. And then maybe we upgrade. Does this game have a story? It has lore. It's like Dark Souls. There's been so much iteration on this. Yes, but I don't know if any of them's done it better, you know? It's kind of hoping to get another block card there. Um, so three attacks, blocks for six. Two attacks and a block only blocks for five. Saves me one life. <clears throat> Burger Taroff, 49. How many games on the wheel are Slay the Spire Derivatives? Yeah, but I don't know if any of them are better. Is the main thing. Like, I think this is the inspiration and also still the king. You think Backpack Hero might be your pick? Interesting. I like Deadly Poison <clears throat> on Hexaghost Act. I like Blade Dance for Blade Dance. I like Calculated Gamble for Calculated Gamble. I think it's got to be Blade Dance. Uh, two potions. I think we're strong enough to go this way. Cannot take this. <laughs> Cannot take this. Never in a million years can we take that, which sucks. I can raise my camera to see the energy. Right. I can just go this way. Hello? There's some video stutter. Give me a second. Thank you. Ancient potion. I'll keep my current ones. Man. All right. Let me know if that's buttery smooth now. Y'all, please. Taking that deadly poison, we're probably in like a way better situation right now. I think I need to hit you. Good 
draw 45? How do I make it through an entire other cycle here? Let's do a good start. That's both potions down. I think we die. Oh no. Ah! Well. All right, you know what? No, 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 not like this. Not like this, not like this, not like this. Hey, so we rolled uh, the silent for our very last run of the day. Unbelievable. Really quite lucky, if you do say so yourself. And uh, yeah, this is super cool. Wow, can you believe it? I can't believe it. Sneaky strike. Golden idol. Got some money. Skip. Alrighty. I want to buy this. Probably supposed to buy this. My tinctures. So we get one elite free. So I think we go this way. Can I interest you in mayhem? No. <laughs> so this might make us strong enough that we could actually take two elites here. I mean, that one's free. What card upgrades would I take? I don't really need a card upgrade, actually. So I can go here. This one's free. Hopefully this is like uh, Gremlin Knob or Lagavulin, and then that's like Sentries. Peace Pipe. Peace Pipe Tech... Oh my god. Can I have all of these? Let's take another sneaky strike. I don't have a lot of enablers for it. I think double sneaky strike. I think we're supposed to go this and then this and then that. Prepared is pretty good. If I had an upgrade, I'd take prepared and I'd upgrade it. All right, watch this. We're going to melt it next turn. We're going to grab dagger throw. Oh no. We're going to go Dagger Throw, Sneaky Sneaky, watch. This is what the deck does. Isn't it beautiful? That sucks. <laughs> what a terrible draw order. I mean, that's not a bad draw order. I'm supposed to try and kill that. Prevent 10 damage next turn. Oof. Uh... Alright. This is a really bad draw order for a deck that's actually not as bad as we're making it out to be right now. Oh my god. Why am I not drawing block curtain? This is... <laughs> oh. 
No, 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 no. This is this is even worse than normal sentries, y'all. Like, <laughs> am I dead here? I am, which is extremely frustrating. Wow. Hey, you know what? This is so weird. The stream stuttered one more time. And I'm so glad that we're finally ending the game. Ending the day. On Slay the Spire. A game that I love. <laughs> Ooh, terror. What boss are we on? Okay. Ah. Oh, no, this is still fine. Strength potion. Deadly poison this time. All right. <clears throat> if we hadn't hit that fight, we would have had double free elite. If you're at all curious. The grudge match. Getting bag of marbles here to help strip artifact charges is also kind of huge. See, this is what I'm talking about. You're like, oh, Ascension 20 can be so rough. And you're like, no, that was just... <laughs> That was just that fight. <laughs> Normally sentries isn't that bad. See, look what happens when you draw your, your attack and your block on the right turns, you know? God, what a concept. The boot! In the boot, play dance combo. <clears throat> I haven't been to a shop yet. I could go here and then think about my life choices. Shane Lee Attack, thank you for the 48 months, friend. I really appreciate it. That gets you a netherite bean. That is a beautiful milestone. You're a beautiful person. Thank you for the support. The boot carrying the fight there. Unbelievable. Flex pot. We can absolutely take that fight now. I'm going to upgrade. Terror. Hey, look, a sapphire key. All right, Terra turn one. Oh my god. It's a thing of beauty. I'd use Flex Potion if we ripped a... Nope. <clears throat> you know what? I think... I think we kill almost every time next turn. Come back to a nearly identical card game. What's that supposed to mean, Anime Kitty? 
Oh, I didn't even need. Oh, that was a waste of a potion. Hey, luck, a potion came back. Hey, thousand cuts. Thousand cuts, blade dance prepared. Yes. Oh my god. Tactician calculated gamble. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Not even considering prism. Sorry. Do I need to rest here? I don't think I do. Not infinite blades. Not against this boss. Not against this boss, especially without the ability to hold it. Infinite blades just puts a bunch of like curses in your deck. Because on the turns that it doesn't want to hit stuff. I kind of want to upgrade Thousand Cuts. And prepared. Infinite Blades can be good. I would not I would not say that it is always bad. This is a remarkably good turn one. <laughs> the boot. And a boot. It's true, though. If only Jorbs could see this. If only Jorbs could see me now. it like just hitting everything the exact turn you need it Ooh. hey what's up parrot brand new sub thank you so much friend i hope you're having an amazing day appreciate the support that was a clean fight So like Terror Phantasmal Killer is kind of great. Doppelganger is very mid. A Doppelganger like sets up some pretty busted turns with Thousand Cuts kind of stuff, but like not really. This is not a bullet time deck. I think it's just Skip. It's either Skip or Phantasmal Killer. Take Phantasmal Killer. This is not a Snacko. <laughs> this is not Snacko. Oh. Man. Entropic Sozu combo? Ring of the Serpent might be okay with Thousand Cuts. Bad boss relics and bad rares. You know, sometimes Slay the Spire be like that. spooky how do we live through this we need to get like I don't know what we need we're gonna get two Carter moves I think we need um, spooky ghosts so maybe try and hit a bunch of question marks which is funny because we so we uh Jozu bracelets into a blue thingy this is almost a forced elite but it's not I can get three elites maybe that makes us strong enough 
Start here. The boot. It's 12. Ah, oh, that's lethal. It's over lethal. Should have used uh, the weak over there. They look like little zombie pirates. They're thieves. They're coming for all of our money. Second blade dance. Um, <laughs> tiny chest? Just a little guy. Sure. The boot. That Joe's that Juzu bracelet we passed earlier. I know. Devastating. Alright. Uh oh wow. Oops. Whatever. We are uniquely qualified to win this fight. No, we don't need it, right? It's not what we're trying to do. Why wouldn't I take the catalyst? Because this, if it's upgraded. I have one poison card. It doesn't support the rest of what my deck is doing. I mean, <sighs> this also has um, three artifact charges on it. So like, that doesn't even kill it that fast. Unless I get like a fumes. It's bad against slavers. It's good against book of stabbing. I think this is a more fun deck to build into though. Because like we don't have any defenses. So we just need to kill. I'm going to skip it. It's tough. If I had any other poison card, I think I'd take it. If it's just a one deadly fumes. How is it against killer plant? I don't think we really need it against plant. We need block cards. That's what we need. Dodge and roll is interesting. Wraith form? <laughs> Let's go to the shop. You always try and force shivs? Depends. Taking one here isn't bad. <laughs> Afternoon brewers. What up, type variable? Ah, uh, jeez. I sure do only have three energy. 12, 17. It's 20 damage. Because of the boots. Alright, now's where we get strong. You know? Actually.
Oh, this is actually a really hard shop. That sucks. That sucks super hard. Uh, Willie plans is okay. Uh, card remove is okay. Escape plan is okay. I think it's just card remove. These are all three very good upgrades. That's a fine upgrade. I think Tactician is probably better than upgrading Phantasmal Killer. It's just an energy upgrade. Uh, Blade Dance is a fine upgrade. <clears throat> you know what I need? I need a um, an Apotheosis. Where's my Apotheosis? You know, give me a second here. Oh, that's not what we wanted to have happen. <laughs> All right. Well, we got no potions. Goodbye, shivs. Yeah, you'll you'll be back. Simply bottle apothe apotheosis. Ooh, I should try that. Thank you. See, this is where um, Wooly Plans would have been good. I'd love to have... Love to have had something there. Can I just kill? GG. That's why I didn't get Catalyst, by the way. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Sneko skull. I think I need to take this leg sweep. In Venom time? Actually, in Venom's kind of legit with Sneko, but we'll see. We'll see where we end up. I mean, instead of an Envenom, I really want a um, an Accuracy. That'd be sick. Accuracy, I'd take a... I love a well laid plans over both of those. Either of those. Fear Pot. Oh, another Adrenaline. All right, what do we get here? Bottled Tornado. Oh, I get to start with a thousand cuts in hand. You know what? You know what? I'll take that. This is a little risky. Yeesh. Wondering if I need to Deadly Poison. I think I do. I think I need the damage. If I die by exactly two, it's because I played Neutralize with 4,000 cuts. That's fair. Man, you know what we really need is a um, After Image. Ooh-wee. Would Unceasing Top be good? Probably not. Unceasing Top is very rarely good. Lock card. Is 
this is getting kind of spooky. Wally plans, well, pardon me, not Wally plans. Blade dance, blade dance. Uh, you die to your own thorns before you kill me? Aka Bako. Ooh, another tactician. Ooh, a crippling cloud. Hear me out. Uh huh. Choke. I don't have enough energy. Hey, what's up, cheesecake? The two adrenalines? I don't I don't I don't think we need damage. I don't think we need damage. I think what we need is like a block card. Also, keep in mind the artifact charges here. I don't think Choke is going to do it. If it was upgraded, maybe. I think I have to take Crippling Cloud, actually. And then we need to go this way now. Got all this poison. No, 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 no. You can do a little bit of poison and stuff like this and not be a poison deck. Classic... Classic misconception for people playing the Spire. I beg your pardon? What is wrong with you? 31 damage? Why are you so angry? It's only game. Why do you have to be so mad? The boot! That was... Weird decision, Jaeger. Maybe I'm supposed to fear pot that. Can't really afford to take a bunch of damage here. How's the day been? Mr. 12 hours streamed. I'm tired. <laughs> it's a lot of damage that you're aiming directly at my dome. Am I just dead here? God, close. Did I go to two? Yeah, I absolutely needed to fear pot and I hit that with poison. Or else I just die. I'm dead? That's too bad. So I lost that fight because I did not use the fear potion to strip off artifact and hit with poison potion. We tried. That was a better run. Needed a block card. Oh well. Very fun. Very fun day. Much more respectable. Decent first run. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm tired. We're going to call it there. It's been just under 12 hours. Thank you very much. Day two of the birthday week extravaganza. Day two of the subathon. Uh, thank you very much. 
honestly, this has been overwhelming. The outpouring of support, the love, the good vibes, everybody hanging out. Uh, if you're new and you had a good time, give a follow. I'd really appreciate it if you came on back. So I do work another job, so I can't go straight. So even though that number is continuing to count up, uh, we're going to be resuming on Saturday. I will be over at twitch.tv slash loading ready run tomorrow in the evening, hanging out over there. So look forward to that. And then Saturday we're back and Saturday is going to be big. Saturday is going to be very big. I cannot tell you uh, there's an embargo on what I get to do on Saturday, but trust me, you're going to lose your mind. I lost my mind. It's really, really exciting. So I'll see you Saturday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, hopefully I get to see you then. And then if we run out of time, if we run out of energy, we can, of course, get back to the wheel and all the good vibes that are going on over there. And 12 hours, you're losing your mind anyways. Yeah, fair. Very, very fair. Um, yeah, again. I'm not very good at this sign-off because I'm tired. I want to say thank you to everybody who raided. We got a lot of raids from people just showing just how much love there is in the community, how much support there is in the community. So thank you to all of you. Uh, so many people being so generous lately. Thank you as well. Thank you for the laughs. Thank you for the smiles. Um, thank you for the birthday wishes, especially the people who aren't able to donate or give subs. And I've just been here hanging out all day. I see you and I love you. Thank you. Uh, shout out to the mods who have been so wonderful and so helpful for all this. And of course, thank you to my partner, Joe. Because she somehow is okay with me doing this. <laughs> Whatever this is, you know? And of course, Fuji. Yep, Fuji made the thing. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Very important. Very important. Paused. Oh, team order. I didn't even mean to do that. Yes. <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah, I can't believe I streamed for 12 hours today and that number only went down by two hours. Weird. Matthew Wiggins. How's Matt on? He only streams at night. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Ferris are well, well, well. Hey, everybody. Um, go get, say hi to my bud, Matt. Go say hi to my bud, Matt. He's beautiful. He's got a great dog. <laughs> Bye.